Oh my God, 28. Bada bing, bada boom. Bada bing. <laughs> okay. First of all, quick little before we welcome y'all in. <laughs> Did I, I don't think I was listening to it with you. Have you heard this? There's a song entitled Bing Bong with Fat Joe, Busta Rhymes. Shut like, up. A bunch of New York rappers. Shut up. Have a very New York the fuck out track called Bing Bong. <laughs> I was hot as shit at my mother's house yesterday. Listen to this. I was, was it tripping. good? It's just very like, like not backpack New York. It's very like classic New York rap, which is not my oh, okay. um, preference in, yeah. in style rap. Okay. So it's not bad. It's just very New York. Like what? It's not meant for radio or anything like that. I need that. Uh, but I, I saw it on this. title. That shit was hilarious. <laughs> anyway, welcome to Soul Pally, y'all. How y'all doing? What's <laughs> what's, what's Say, let's let's say. I'm D. I'm Capri. And Soul Palette is a podcast where two black women come together, normalizing the black and brown palette. Um, we destigmatize the concept that you need to use Eurocentric uh, tasting wheels, sensory wheels, um, in order to adequately uh, engage with spirits. Yeah. To put it plainly. So, welcome. We talk about a number of things. Yes. Thank you to the people who continue to listen. Thank you to the ones that are just checking us out. Hello. Um, we got some bullshit going on on Instagram. Bitch. Somebody has catfished our page. <sighs> and it's this private page. And it has our logo on it. So, if you see a white logo, it's not our actual it's page. It's not our page. Also, that you is can not tell us. by it's the so bio. It's so dot palette, and it just says indulge your taste buds. That shit scares me already. I hate that I can't see what's happening on that page right now. Also, it's private. Uh, I'm reporting it like every fucking hour. Like, so, um, so those listeners who are paying attention, uh, please report that page. Hopefully it's gone by the time you hear this, though, because I'm going to be really pissed if Meta yeah, continues to play with me like this. But um, our page has been getting less engagement and let like showing up less on people's feeds. The algorithm is like against us, fucking with sure. us. Yeah, right now. So, um, yeah, we're trying to figure that out. I don't like it. Like it's really, it's really getting to me a little bit, y'all. So I think it's it's definitely getting to me. Also, you know, when we found out yesterday, I was it it like was like going into work. I was my head was everywhere. I was like sending it to a trillion people, telling them all to block it. I was like, or re- report it, you know, and it, it was, it was a lot. And then, you know, finding out that people haven't been seeing our content on Instagram, it's just kind of like, what is the solution? You know, what is the way to get around this? And then also just like me really ready to start figure out better ways for us to even put this yeah I was gonna say, that too and i think <laughs> we're just gonna have if instagram's to actually, gonna fuck with us then we're gonna have to post more too because yeah. i know that i mean that the saying like feed the algorithm is not by accident like i know that's a thing you have to feed the algorithm the more that you post the more that you find out show, you show at all it's crazy. so it's like eh, okay but we're two very busy working individuals and we're doing this all by ourselves y'all all so once we get sponsorship and all that type of stuff It'll and get that so figured hot. out we'll definitely be able to kind of maneuver this a little better but in the meantime on the other hand i would like to play a freestyle for you all that a freestyle. Um, made my day today and i was like wow. yes you like, found a good instagram post too <laughs> No show. Period. Period. Down pack, cause listen. 
the greatest. I'm going to definitely use that. This shit was in hilarious. Like, just because you got kids, like, I'm your sibling. I am not your living nanny. Like, <laughs> and people in the comments are like, yeah, you know, my daughter, she watches all the babies in the neighborhood when I have to go to work, watch errands, da 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 da. I was like, oh my God. If no, you were, not doing that. Somewhere. But my family, don't, my family with kids, they don't ask me to watch no kids. Though. Like, my, <laughs> there's nothing about my house that's kid proof. I have hard corners and edges and things. My cat is not getting put up. And if your baby does too much, they might get scratched. So I'm just not, it's just not. I not. am. I'm not in that phase resort. of my life at I'm all. The last resort. The last resort. And I've actually been that girl where I've watched like friends of mine, like kids or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, um, one of my old like friends slash exes, whatever. Mm-hmm. When she had her first son, I like watched him for like a couple of days. Like that child stayed <laughs> within my house in my little bedroom. Wow. <laughs> Exactly. That was like the extent of that. That was after mm-hmm. that. I was like, I'm done watching kids. Yeah. She was cool, but it was a lot. I don't. Mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, I don't want to be a mom anytime soon. <laughs> like, not at all. all. Like, like this is a lot, and I don't even have to breastfeed you or do none of the other mm-hmm. shit. This is just a lot. Being responsible for your life, make sure you don't bump your head. It's a lot. Like I gotta change your ass. Uh uh-uh. uh. I'm good. <laughs> That's a lot. Make sure you don't die. Damn. And I got, yeah, I got responsible for making sure your mother comes back to it in a live child. Wow. You can't be smothered because I I gotta sleep all light and shit now because I can't you can't roll over the wrong way and it's just that's a lot. That's scary. I see why moms have so much anxiety. What hell yeah? This like, shit is a lot. All right, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm kid free. Okay, I'm kid free. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna have a child, but I really think I'm gonna have to be one. I think it's gonna be one. Yeah. The more I think about it, we'll see. I just, I hope you have some cousins. <laughs> I'm gonna do my best to make sure you have access to all any cousins and friends. And, you know, even if it's play cousins, because I have friends with kids or whatever. Like we'll do it that. Way. I'll make sure you have kids around <laughs> you. Started off with it's for because we cousins and something grandmas. <laughs> <laughs> Kid free, Bruh. especially oh, the grandmas. They did kid, their job yeah, already. Kid free, yo, that's a summer. Grandmas right do there. their job like three, four times over. It'd be like, oh no, not me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna have the first one, so I don't have any others. So I don't have any residuals that I need to like be responsible for because I'm responsible like, for. It's true, grandmothers. You mother for the rest of your life, I guess. Yeah, pretty much. And that's <sighs> there are a lot of moms who don't get that though. Mm. My mom does not get that. <laughs> she you thinks that, like you reach a certain age, she just get the. Yeah. You're an adult. Yeah. <laughs> Be free. Do all the adult things. That's true. This is true. Like, My parents kind of like that She too. misses the part where like people still need guidance <laughs> from their parents. Like you, ideally, it's from their parents. Ideally, as opposed to like the cold, cruel world out there. <laughs> like maybe there's some <sighs> gems you could throw in there. Maybe some intervention you could like. Intervene a little bit. Yeah, no, my as mom a, was just making sure I'm, okay, I'm alive. And, you Essentially, know, but fine. the rest is like, you figured it out. You're doing great. You're not homeless, right? I'm okay. looking at you. You're doing great. I'm looking at you. Essentially. You're, you're fine. That's that bullshit. <laughs> no, like, my mother's exhausted at this point because my brother's approaching 18. She thinks he should just be ready already. But I'm like, ma'am, you kind of have to put him in that position to be ready right. already. Right. Like, you can't. Like what? <laughs> you can't you can't tap out oh I'm tired at this point. You're not you're not grown yet. I'm like the time is still the same amount of time. Like he's still a teenager. Yeah, he needs he still has two more years of teenagery. Yeah, he has a lot. Like a lot. she forgets, like you still want your mom to matriarch you. Yeah. Like you still want those things. So yes. you don't like in your in your forties, you're in your big age. <laughs> so clearly parents aren't done parenting, or at least kids aren't done wanting their parents right. to parent. <laughs> how is this what is it what's going on here what's going on you want your mom we want our mom <laughs> that's it that's all there is <laughs> it's all just a circle of life i guess circle of life oh, that's why that's so i'm funny. going to be very in therapy Mm-hmm. Before I have a child, that's real. Like in it, in the habit of going and mm-hmm. having that rapport already, before I even start the process. So, no, oh, that's real. That's one. It's one of those things on a list, or it's like <laughs> another 
five hundred dollars a month I need to make sure I'm making at least Listen, to allocate solely to being able to go to a therapist for a quality right. therapist right. worth their salt right. every two weeks. Like Absolutely. that is what I want to be able to do. So now I'm just trying to figure out the way to afford to do that. Mm. So Coming up another thing on the fucking list, child. <laughs> I want to be a fucking vegetarian in therapy, doing yoga every day, all this shit, <laughs> before I give birth to anything. <laughs> I just get it all together first. Get it all I need to first. be as zen as, as humanly possible, at least able to control my zen as much as possible before I'm bringing a human into this world that's about so to throw all that. the fucking curveballs. Yeah, literally. <laughs> my fucking worst fear is curveball. <laughs> All right, what are we chow. tasting tonight? I mean, okay. today. Oh, Lord, y'all. Ooh, tonight. She already jumped to the sleepy. nighttime, chow. Uh, okay, so we're doing Lost Lantern today, yes. y'all. I'm excited. I like being able to do a cross, like a brand or whatever. So yes. a little bit about Lost Lantern. They aren't actually distilling the spirits that we're going to be tasting. The category is single malts. Mm-hmm. Um, they source whiskeys with special finishes or maybe just they pick a single barrel or whatever. Um, but they're working with other distilleries, picking barrels from that they've already produced and essentially putting their label on them. I don't know. I kind of want to talk to someone at Lost Legend because I don't know the extent of like their process, how involved they are besides like getting some samples and picking or are they like at the distillery, like doing the things. So I'm curious to know that there's a lot of, I just need to write my list of like distillers i want to talk to yeah and just shoot my shot it, it, especially if we sell good. them at sealbox I'm like I'm gonna shoot my shot because i have questions so yeah <laughs> i want to talk to the people who can give me the answers love that um so yeah so category single malts we are starting with mccarthy's okay and they are we got a couple things out of oregon today yeah oh nice so this is their 2022 uh, some of these are released right now some of these aren't <laughs> so some of these aren't out for like another week or so or maybe this week awesome but this is the 2022 single cast number five so i think this is out right now um mccarthy's peated oregon single malt it's so light it's very light that's even the peat sure. is light oh this is giving lemon this is giving that's pale lemon completely pale lemon like yes we found one that's not agave, Rob. Mm. Just let you know. Peter single malt. Sending this to you. Sending that clip two seconds to not you. Not tequila. <laughs> not reposado right now. It's not giving. But it is giving pale lemon. Yes. So this is out of uh, Portland, Oregon. It's still in Portland, Oregon and aged in Portland and Hood River, Oregon. Okay. I, don't know, I guess they split that up. I don't know. Huh. Um, 57% ABV. So what's that? 114? Yep. I mean, the peat is there. It's not like, it's not smack you in the nose. No. Thank God. Because I, I mean, I like peat. I don't like too much Yeah, though. Like there's definitely a such thing as too much. It's like there's a such thing as too much oak. Like there's, yeah. you can spend too much time in wood and then that's all you get. I actually get lemon oil. Yeah. Like it's there. A lot actually. Like, and oil. Like this is giving oily. Yeah. Just in like. Oh, yeah. Texture. Like texture. Ooh. Oops. Sorry. It got <laughs> okay. more on my jeans than it did on your carpet. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta be careful. What else we can do it too much? That taste that does too much. <laughs> Shout out to Hillsong. Yes, that, that was, was the funniest one. fucking that real. Good. That was like a real. The over noser. <laughs> that shit was hilarious. <laughs> I was like, damn, I know all these motherfuckers for sure. I've been one probably. It's kind of hard to get past the lemon oil. Yeah. Pete and lemon oil. That's Pete what I'm getting. Yeah. Okay. Let's go for it. Sometimes it is not that complicated, oh, y'all. I got the water. Mm. Now drop a drop of. What is that? Ooh, wow. Mm. Wow. Mm. It's like smoke and chocolate. Mm-hmm. And peat. A little pepper. Mm. Mm. Damn, wow. that's good as fuck. A little caramel. There's a lot going on in there. There's a lot happening in here. Oh, I don't like it. The ending is very like waxy, almost chalky. Oh. Hmm. Uh, it ends like weird tap water. Kind yes. Yes. <laughs> like the texture of like what I imagine New York tap water is like. <laughs> no shade. <laughs> so and supposedly New York's supposed to have some of the best tap water. Is that it's, true? It's a lie. Aruba has it. I was gonna say that don't sound right. New York is just so filthy of a state. <laughs> but no, yeah, people say that their that water quality is like really high. Wow. Yeah. Well, I'm glad if that's something they prioritize. Let's let's, let's ask when we get to BCB. Ooh. 
Facts. I was this is drop very my water interesting. Into my water. Peated. Mm. I love that a little. We have like a little color, color mashup up here. Yes. We've got the brown and the tan, and the brown and the tan, and the I don't know if this is purple, indigo, whatever the fuck that is. <laughs> mm. This is okay. Water. The water opens it up, but I mean. That smoke is like clearly the first oh, thing. Oh god, and it really opened more on the nose too. It evaporates for sure. into like this waxiness. Yeah, definitely campfire. Like that wood I would burning. like this because think speaking of campfire, I really want to do like a nice like bonfire somewhere. I need to be on someone's farm or something. Um, do a nice bonfire, throw out the blankets, have like spiked hot cocos and shit. It's like my favorite fall activity, but like I would drink this in. The, I would do like a couple shots of that in like a good hot cocoa, good quality joint. Yeah, that it would go really so good. well. It would go really well. Mm-hmm. Cause that's the kind of chocolate that I'm getting from it too. Mm-hmm. Is it hot like I could eat type. that with a s'more? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yes. let's taste it. It is a lot of smoke, so we're gonna see how everything else goes. Yeah, I think that's the only like smoky one of the lineup. Mm. So we definitely have to do our water on this one. Oh, we got some interesting um, finishes towards the end of it. So, yeah. yes. All right. So our catch up, y'all. Yes. For those who are listening to this episode for the first time, the previous episode, we were talking about engaging in a 66 day challenge. You mm-hmm. can also go to our Instagram and just see that clip of that episode. Yes. The um, real Instagram. The <laughs> real Instagram. Like, what if these Do we have to put that like- in the fucking bio now? Yes, we should. This is the real account? Yes, because, like, what the fuck? So the dumb. only page for yes, <laughs> soul palette, all soul palette affiliated anyway. things. That's so annoying. Like, that's annoying Ooh, as fuck. Who if I catch you on the streets? My thing is, how the fuck do you find the people who are doing, like, creating these fucking dummy pages? I don't know, but someone just texted me today and said that someone has their whole name on WhatsApp and is texting their friends. Oh my god! Like that shit is scary, bro. This shit is getting creepy as fuck. Like, who is the per- like? Is I don't it a get it. bot that's out here just know. pulling people to impersonate? Is it, is it AI? A like, person like, that's like know. really actively on the web? Just at like- this point, I think the internet is trolling all of us back. Cause like, why are why are other people do like out of all things that we can do on the internet? Like hack the government. Hack the government. Why are you hacking why, regular why, civilians who are nothing. not doing anything to you? Oh like God. hack the fucking government. Sorry. Jesus. Uh, allegedly. Hack because I am not you're not gonna use this against me. Oh yeah. Of course, we don't, we don't, no, I'm wait, just yes, joking. Yes, no. It's giving circumstances. It's a joke. Oh, it's a joke. It's all a joke. Jesus Christ. Y'all can't even say shit like that. No. Fucking Rico. It is all a fucking joke. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. So <laughs> Look, look. Okay. In all seriousness, I don't like that shit. But on our it's real annoying. Instagram, yes. to bring it back to the point, yes, the 66 day challenge mm-hmm. starts tomorrow. Yes. I am getting a calendar, putting it on my refrigerator. Oh, nice. So, our, and it's so kismet when I did the calculations. But starting with tomorrow, uh-huh. our end date is July 22nd. Wow. This so, 7 22. Oh, wow. Look at the numbers. Yeah, on that. look at you. That's and crazy. it's two days before we leave for t- fucking Tails. I know, I cannot so wait. So, I feel like we'll be going into Tails and evolve, more evolved, Ready motivated version of ourselves because we'll have bullshit. checked this off our list. <laughs> We're dropping something we no longer need. We're picking up something we do. Yes. And I think that's a great way to go into a trip like that. Yeah, I agree. I agree. So we'll be doing a very, that'll be a very important episode of Soul Palette for us because it'll be our first like live recording type of thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and like in front of people in front and of engaging people. with people yes. like live on that. So super excited. <sighs> yes. So yeah. I just can't wait for, you know, what that means for our growth as a show and like yeah. you know hopefully you know i think the room's gonna be packed out and i think it's gonna manifesting you know, that right now yeah i think it's gonna be a good time um and i'm glad that it's monday so we can just <laughs> enjoy the rest of the fucking have, um, i have a ball monday and then the tuesday the, but i still yes. couldn't have a ball either. yeah we're gonna have a ball <laughs> like, i'm being a panelist for someone else's thing so i don't really have the stress aspect of that i just right. get to talk about soul palette after we just did soul palette so okay so I'm excited about that. Yeah, that's so. awesome. I'm so excited. Um, but yeah. We got to figure out what type of 
collateral. So we're gonna have a we pool, y'all. We're gonna have a pool. So excited for that! I can't wait for the content because I yes. can't wait for our real yes. our voiceover it's reel. It's gonna be so it nice. It has to be epic. It's so. gonna be so great. Because <sighs> we've been talking about this now for we like, have been on. talking about it's this. So I'm excited. That's gonna be the perfect time. <laughs> and BCB, it's gonna be a BCB one. Yeah, that'll be our first trial run. Yeah. So, so I'm excited about, about that. that. But 66 six day challenge. I'm going to be doing yoga every day for 66 days. Mm -hmm. And I am not watching reality TV for 66 days. Which anyone who knows me knows that's a major thing. Anyone I've mentioned it to was like, really? <laughs> right. Are we sure? We talked like, about all this. You're not going to. Right. Did we talk about if we are still indulging in reality podcasts? And so. That's, That's what, what I meant to ask this episode. So what are we qualifying as a reality podcast? Well, like, I mean, like my, like, pop culture stuff? Yes. Okay, okay. yes. I can, I can get off of that. So for because like that'll still be still... tapping me in reality TV right. if but I do that. So, no, no I, I can't do the pop culture stuff. stuff. But I can listen to, like, I feel like I can still listen to, like, See the Thing Is. Like, they don't really talk about reality TV. They might throw a tidbit in there if it's in the news, but not, like, as a segment where it's regular in their conversation or anything. So, like, something like that I would still listen to. Um, I don't have Hollywood Unlocked. I've already bought, I've oh, yeah. said my rant about that. Jesus. And that was really all of that and, like, TGIF on Fox, so I might tap into sometimes, but... Those are the only ones I really listen to okay. that are like pop culture ish or reality TV ish. Right. Um, so I'm still been listening to audio books. I listen to I'm in the middle of listening to one now. Awesome. Um, called How Successful People Think. Nice. It's a good listen. Okay. I'm gonna send you the link. Okay, send it's on YouTube, it's free. So yeah. it's three hours of your life that you get something out of it. So <laughs> I love that. Um, so I'm gonna send it to you. But okay. Loving what I'm getting from that so far. Mm -hmm. um, the main takeaway that I've taken from what I've listened to so far is looking at the, like, consistently looking at the bigger picture. Okay. But in your day to day, making sure that that focus, whatever it is that you, because you have to be able to focus in the present too, right? right. But that thing that you're focused on in the present, making sure that feeds that bigger picture. Right. Yes. Like Absolutely. always having that synchronicity in terms of like what you're doing today is actually for what you foresee absolutely. like days weeks months down the line i think that's what discipline is all about too yes absolutely yeah. it was definitely a perfect follow-up from listening to yeah how to build self-discipline nice so it's kind of reaffirming some of those things and then adding some other stuff on it so nice. i'm here for it yeah i think it's a good way to start me on this 66 day journey <laughs> my mother has decided to join in as well so we'll Ooh, see she gonna do? so she is shoot what is she adding on oh shit we talked about this but i was really high yesterday it's okay tell her we drank a lot of red wine we'll text her um, and tell her to, i'm gonna tell her to comment it <laughs> comment it or like we you know share it with with, and, and with what she's doing yeah. yes for sure so, so i know ra is doing 30 minutes of some form of exercise or walking running whatever every day Ooh, 30 minutes is a long time 30 minutes is a good amount of time <laughs> and then she does this like sauna suit thing too which is great because then it like just helps you detox and mm. really sweat so um, I'm about to give me one like but I'm going to do it during my yoga because I like hot yoga uh, I like right. to sweat while I do yoga so that'll help me sweat more Yeah. Um, so I'm about to get my little sauna suit y'all so if I'm looking crazy in my little documentation no, don't it, we're judge me because like, look yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be looking good for New Orleans yes um, so we're doing that, and she's, um, what is she getting rid of? I forgot what she's getting rid of. Oh, she's not eating out at all, and that includes, like, Uber Eats and shit. That makes sense. So. It, but so she, she gonna be cooking? she going to be cooking? We both are, but she's going to have to if I have she's it. She's going to have to. Because she can't just to. order it. Usually, if I don't make something, she don't feel like she should just order something. Mm. Now she can't do that. Well, that's good. I should put that in mind, because child. It's so easy. They just be taking my and so money. So that means when I'm at home, like, I'm not ordering anything. I'm not going to order something. She right. can't, you know. Right. So when I'm in the house, I'm not doing that at work. I might give myself a little lunch. It just depends. Yeah. If I didn't have five leftovers or whatever, right. I don't want leftovers. Sometimes I don't. This makes so much sense for her. Um, it does. Make She's going to be like, see, what, see, look at our bank account. I was going to say, for her, and that's why I suggested it, because I was like, she's also going to see how much money we save when we don't order out. Oh, so or much. Or we don't, so like, much. dine out or whatever. So, yeah. That's, That's going to be great because then we'll just both spend that money on our travels because she's going to fucking Mexico for her mom's birthday and oh, then I'm going to New that. Orleans. So I love that. Yeah. Oh, right. That's the same time. It's at time? the same time, basically. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. What part of Mexico? Um, I think they're going to Playa, Playa de Carmen. Is that where you just were? No, no, no. No, no. We went Puerto Vallarta. Oh, okay. Right, right, right. Yeah. Uh, and my mom's going to Costa Rica for her birthday. Okay, yeah. I'm so excited That's about that. July, June? June. Her birthday is June, June 30th. June 30th. Okay. Yeah. In about a month, basically. Yeah. A little over a month. 
Um, she's going with her beau. I'm not going to say his name, but yeah. okay. I met him once. We'll see. Okay. We'll see. <laughs> I love it. Keep I know. I need to eye. ask my mom if she's trying to do something this year. It was her was last year her fiftieth? Um, no. The Aruba trip. Oh, okay. Wait, last year was twenty twenty one. I think it was fifty five. Mm. She was born in nineteen sixty. That's still a big one. Yeah. It's the beginning. 1966, 2021 is 55, right? Sure. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So Use did. your mathematics, honey. <laughs> you was not getting um, old in the brain. I know my dad wanted to do Trinidad for his birthday. I was like, Dad, I was going to do Trinidad for my birthday. But he wants to when go in his birthday? He's January. A... Oh, he's coming. January 6th. Yes. Whew. I know. And so. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's hilarious. Maybe we'll still be able to go. I'll ask him. He's bad at trip planning trips a lot of my guy friends are bad at planning trips yeah, they're really just about like tell me how much money give me the same flight as you <laughs> i'm never i am not the planner i'm not the trip planner. Uh, like and do it's, it yourself it's my family it kind of crippled me in that way because <laughs> all my life from 12 well into adulthood yeah. i did a lot of traveling with family oh, okay. like we go out of country we get, go to cruises whatever whatever yeah. so my family's already taking care of that my elders already done that shit i just show up i make sure my passport is where it needs to be and for a while that was my mother making sure my passport was where it needed to be along with my birth certificate and all the things but now i have a wife who was obsessed with planning and controls the budget and so she just picks the shit That's and real. just so happens to be just as fancy as me, if not worse. That's real. And so I just show up to shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, if I've gone on a trip to friends, they already knew what they wanted to do. This is what it costs. Yeah. You just got to pay this. And that's what you do. And so I've always had it that way. Planning Ron's birthday was the only time I was solely responsible yeah. for it. And it gave me the most anxiety. <laughs> I was like, this is a lot of work, it's y'all. So how, do you, much. how do you do this? It's, it, I don't want to do and it all the time, but I always, it's end Monica. Up, I always end up being the person just being like, all right, y'all, let's do this. Get this together. Give me this. Where are you? Okay, well, I'm cutting you out. If you don't have it, no, then by this time, you're not going anymore. If you are going, you got to get your own place. Um, See, like, yeah, I just, especially for your birthday, I know you know what type of house you want to stay in. Yeah. I don't mind giving my input. Like, I kind of don't want to spend night on it night. Yeah, oh, well, place. if it's eight, if it's eight, but uh, if it's enough people going, that's why I didn't right. say anything to check. Like, if enough people gonna go, it's gonna at spread this, itself out enough. At this moment, so, it's looking like nine people are going. So, a hundred and ninety. I talked to Rob about it already. Yeah. already. She was, she may tag along, she may not, but either way, yeah. I'll go. Well, see, that's so. why that last place was awesome because it had everybody had their own like big beds. It wasn't mm-hmm. like. So yeah, we're I definitely twins, need, like so we're these. I need a queen. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, not, but that's I what I'm take saying. a full. I take a full. I'm not. Right. I'm not. So to get I'm not sleeping with nobody, enough people to have those size beds, that's giving 900 a night. Damn. You know, but if your wife goes, that's like four fifty. Yeah. You get only get to split that price, yeah. kind of. Kind of, but not really because <laughs> we share a bank account. So either way, it's like. Kind Either way, it comes out. So it's like she could choose to tag along and be in the same room or not. I'm spending it from the same account. Anyway. <laughs> That's true. So it's like, do, do we want to spend the extra money on that extra flight? Then, like, oh, it's like that part. That, that part so, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but either way, I'm going. Yeah. So either way, I'm we'll going. figure it out. I just need the deets, but I'm bad at trip planning. I'm just not that friend. You want yeah. me to come up with an excursion for us to do, or you want me to plan like an, if we're doing like nights in the house where we're like. I'm great for like in the moment experiences. Right. I'm not great for figuring it out before we get there. Right. Yeah. <laughs> That's just not been the muscle I've worked. That is totally me. It's totally me. Like I have everything down. We're paying for the flight. We're paying for the room. We're paying for the excursions now. That way when we get there, all we're really paying for is travel. The extra. Food. Yeah. That's it. The extras. Yeah. So. But I'm also not, I won't load up an itinerary with excursions either right. when I travel. I it's like, like one to go with every the flow. Yeah. Three like days. if it's like a week long trip, okay, maybe every other day, maybe. Right. And one of the, it's most of the excursions are going to be relatively chill. Like. They're going to be boat rides. I don't need my We're entire day <laughs> taken up with like hyperactivity. Yeah. Like. I'm not the rock climby girl. Yeah. I'm not the swim with sharks and shit. Yeah. I, maybe I'll, I will do the dolphin thing. I've always wanted to do that. But other than that, I like a good yacht. I like a yes. good boat yes. experience. I like to be able to be out, lay out, tan, have my cheeks out, right. have the girls out, <laughs> and eat and drink good. Oh, yeah, yeah. no. And we're, listen to good music and just vibe with people. That's like, all we're going to do is beach during the day, go home, sleep this, our sun de- yes. dehydration off, 
and then go eat and party at night and just do it every day. That and then sometimes we'll have, we'll do snorkel. Like, I want to go snorkeling again. Snorkeling's fun. I've I want to go to Baby Beach. I didn't get to go that last time. And then outside of that, I want to fucking shake my ass. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Yes. <laughs> that's vacation. <laughs> that is vacation. That is why we're best friends. shake my ass. So, and there's a cute ass speakeasy bar there. So, and they have a good shopping district. So, I'm, uh, yes, I'm already okay. excited. I'm like, okay. So, with like I basically up. just need to. Give me two more streams of income at least so that I'm like tucking money away because I want to do it right. I don't yeah. want to, I, mean, I don't like to travel and like nice. scrimp and scrounge no, and exactly. do all the things. Absolutely. I don't want to do all that. No, so. absolutely. It's about to be late, y'all. It's going to be good. So. It's going to be Dirty 30 for Capri. I'm excited. She's going to be into a Dirty 30 club, yes. honey. Yes. I didn't realize I was two years older than you. 91. 91. I was like, you yeah, I turned 30. Nicholas, I you get my yes, 1991. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, cool. Yeah, that's hilarious. So, 66 day challenge, y'all. Feel free to join us. Yes, I'm. We start tomorrow. Yeah, I'm stretching um, every day. We'll be a few days. Yes, reiterate what yours are. Sorry, yeah, no, I'm kind you're of good. I'm I'm stretching every day, and then I just we decide about water i'm gonna try to drink 64 ounces of water not try i am going, going to, to drink 64 I'm ounces of water, on that one, the water a day thing. especially with so, doing yoga and wanting to sweat as much as i want to sweat so right. i have to replenish the water anyway i need to get one of those ones that's like great start you're almost there so i had two you of those and i lost both of them in ubers <laughs> Oh, gone <laughs> gone also if you want to carry it throughout the day i like to go out you can't fucking take it into somebody's you places. cannot take it out so it's like no. oh, okay. that's why i keep but see i drive most places so i keep it in the car and i drink water in the place i'm at right. and then i like go back to drinking it at home so, or, like in the car but those were great and i i felt great every time i finished i was like thank god thanks encouragement yes <laughs> i think we're gonna get one of those yeah i kind of like and they're not expensive. i like small measures of like yeah and like a day at a time, too. a task at yeah. a time, a level at a time type of thing it that was, keeps me motivated. Yeah. So. 64 ounces a day is a good amount of water. Yeah. And it clears your I skin. I try to do a gallon and we'll get there. Is that, what is that, two, six, 64 is half gallon, so. Oh, okay, yeah, because, yeah. Psh, woo, 108 more ounces, baby. 128 Ooh. ounces, baby. I can't even do a gallon of juice in a day, so. Well, no one should be drinking a gallon of juice. <laughs> <laughs> I would hope you can't do a gallon of juice in a day. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> the opposite of what we should be drinking in a day. I was thinking like, what, what, what can I drink a gallon of? It's nothing. Chew, you do enough eight ounce pours of it, you can do a gallon of juice in a day I without guess so. thinking about That's it. That's true. That's because true. Because it's easy to drink eight ounces or something. That's true. Sometimes I have to like pour my water in a cup and do it that way. I throw them back like shots. And, oh, true. Like, that helps. Because that makes it so much easier. Yeah. Because water ain't nothing to throw. If I can handle whiskey. If I can handle five fucking drams of whiskey in a right. day, I can throw back water in the eight ounce capacity like it's nothing. That Absolutely. Should be, that should be the minimum. Okay. I agree. <sighs> we're about to come out of this better people, y'all. I'm so excited. At least more evolved because we're great people already. But you know what I'm saying. <laughs> we all need to be evolved. That was another point I took away from this book I'm listening to so far. You have to be you have to forever be a learner like you yes. can never be unteachable yes by anything agreed whether it's circumstance whether it's advice whether it's like a, a, a success a failure or whatever yes you have to always be willing to take the lesson from stuff absolutely so i yep. think um i think for me it's just like that's where the older generation gets fucks up right it's like they're so stubborn and in their ways of yeah like, i've made it this far doing it this way and, and like you can't teach me nothing it was like everything around you is different literally look to your left look to your right like <laughs> you have to learn new shit and that's why you're stuck with a fucking sprint flip phone <laughs> that like barely gets a fucking reception you because you don't want to learn shit. how to operate a smartphone you gotta phone learn new shit man. and check your mail through apps and it and it is it's also with learning how people are evolving in the way that they engage with each other mm -hmm. like it's always you always have to learn this and I think I've been coming to terms with that about like like the TikTok and the stuff like that. I'm like, I know I'm so resistant to stuff that I'm just like, at some point, your universe is gonna force me to <laughs> like no. get into this shit. I don't want to, but I have to because you can't be into like creating stuff content-wise, digital content, whatever, and not be aware of how they're communicated on all these different media. Yeah, like look. Well, 
Like, there's a whole nother way to shoot for reels as opposed to just a regular post. Yes. Which is similar to how you shoot for a TikTok. So yes. it's like, you got to care about that shit, to be honest. Because mm, that's what people consume. You got to care about it. I know. At least seconds. until you, at least until you got the budget to pay somebody to give a fuck about that shit, right? Because that's where I'm just trying to understand enough to to get me on through, okay? Until I can hand that shit over to Can't somebody wait. who is obsessed with it and wants to get paid to be obsessed with I it. I love that. I think that's great for me to do that, so I can focus on shit I'm obsessed with, right? Like we'll figure it out, one which day. is not TikTok, but you know. <laughs> anyway, as long as I secure my page, I got my D Steel page, y'all. Yeah. Oh, these fucking necklaces get so entangled in each other. Hate it. Sorry, y'all. People who are not on the tube. I'm fumbling around <laughs> with my necklace. Anyway, let's do our second sip, second sip. And then we'll get into it or not. Okay. So this one, our second sip from Lost Lanterns 2022 lineup is single cask number 10. And this is at a St. George's, uh, St. George Spirits, California single malt. Love it. St. George is awesome. All, Already a completely different experience. Oh, so, yeah. like this is distilled, and, it, like, like I was about to say, so floral and sweet. Yeah. Um, distilled and aged in Alameda, California. Okay, awesome. And fifty three point three percent ABV. Okay. Oh my god, it just smells fucking amazing. One hundred six point six. Yep. Yep. One hundred six point six. You say that sounds like a radio station. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I did it right this time, guys. <laughs> Oh my mean, god, this smells so water. good. I'm stuck on that now. There's like wow, something fruit punchy about What the this. fuck? Yes, it's like I mean, orange blossom water. This like just medley of fruits. I can't yeah. pin down any particular like That's what I said, fruit color. Punch, like it's, it's giving like, fruit punch, but it's not giving Hawaiian. Punch. No, no, no. It's giving like if we were at a if we were in Alameda, California at a farmer's market and they were selling their own fresh pressed fruit punch, yes. it would be this. Because that sounds like some shit I would find at a farmer's market in Alameda, California. Legit. Absolutely. Wow, that smells great. It does. Ooh, I hope it tastes just as good. And maybe some tropical fruits here. Like, I think I'm getting mango. I can get mango and pineapple. pineapple. And, like, ripe. Yeah. Not, like, tapachi style, but ripe. Wow. I even think there's some guava in there. Yep. I mean, it's tropical as fuck. Yeah. What's the temperature? But then I also feel Alameda? like I'm getting like, like really hot in Alameda, California. Now I want to know. I don't know. Then I Can also you feel like this grape fruit where grape Alameda juice? is in California? Yeah. You said fruit juice? Grape juice. Oh, grape juice. Like a, Ooh. A white grape. Definitely yeah. white grape. Ooh, wow. There's so much happening in here, y'all. Yeah. Mm. And all of these are available at Sealbox. If not available at this point, at this particular it's point, it will be available. It's Oakland, Oakland is what Northern California, no? Yes. Okay. Okay. Bay Area. Okay, Bay Area. With all the like really ripe tropical East food, Bay I was region thinking of the Bay something. Area. Well, I mean, it, it is still California, so it's still hot, but I was thinking like Southern California hot. Oh, no, they are definitely wow. cooler. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm hip. All right. God, it smells great. It really yeah. does, y'all. Wow. And this is number 10, so I don't think this one's out yet. Wow. Wow. What the fuck just happened in this pack? Oh, my God. I almost spit it out. It was amazing. Wow. <laughs> I don't know wow. if you guys saw that. I, mm. I didn't even swallow before it blew my fucking I don't out. I water just to see what it's going to do. I don't want water yet. Mm. Oh. Wow. Everything we're smelling is literally there on the nose. Lit- the guava is there. I can, like, kind of get that very pronounced. Like So this is giving me Almost like a Starburst. Candy. Tropical Starburst candies. There we go. I was going to say like a guava candy, though. Mm-hmm. It's like... The blue wrappers. I don't know if y'all remember those. Mm-hmm. Because it's given like... Almost like... The wrapper is almost like the blue in this glass. Yes. Like, watching us. Mm. Wow. Sorry. Holy shit. That's fucking awesome. God damn. Woo! Wow. <laughs> I really almost like... This is going to be a clip or two without... Out. Let's give it on a monopoly. I almost talked about swallowing. <laughs> oh my god! I was not That's ready. Real for deep, this. but it's so good that you forget to swallow <laughs> before you that. before you talk about how good oh it my is. God, that was crazy! Wow. Mm. Ooh. You know what I would kind of like to add to our? Maybe we'll interchange this, or maybe we'll shorten where we're eating, Ooh. or something like that. I don't know. But I like Ooh. to throw this in as a segment. Like, 
all kind of stealing this from Don't Call Me White Girl. Just I love that she does this on her podcast. Um, talking about what we want to manifest. Oh yeah, I think we do that naturally, but we can. We do, but I think to like be intentional about like focusing on something we want to yeah. manifest. I think it'd be great. Shout out to Don't Call Me White Girl. Did you watch that one I sent you? I haven't yet. I'm sorry. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> the episode with her mother was really good in a triggering way, though. Oh, it, man. Like, it's such a similar... <laughs> just... Mm. Moms. <laughs> tell me like, about they're, it. Like, they're great, and you can tell that they put in work to be great. Yeah. Like, in terms of their relationship. Oh, that's nice. Mm. Mm. I get a little caramel underneath. It's like wafty. I get dark chocolate, really dark. Yep. Dry Raw, chocolate. chalky chocolate. Yeah. For sure. The water brought that out more, but like before y'all, that was awesome. Mm. Wow. That was cool. That was really an experience. For sure. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's really good. Awesome. Charles. Okay, St. George Spirits. You know what? I don't That's think. Awesome. There was a, they had a previous St. George Spirits release. You know what it is? I have another one, mm -hmm. but it's the single malt was finished in slow gin cast. I'll let you try it. Oh wow. You gotta come back by my office. I know. I have a lot of shit that's just obviously I can't travel around with all of it. Right. <laughs> but it's like a lot of fun shit that I would like yeah. to share with my friends. But, oh yeah. <laughs> um and also because I'm not gonna be going out as much, like eating out and all that as much, I want to like make Sunday dinners a regular thing. Okay. But like having like friends and stuff over yeah. for Sunday dinners. So, sure. um, so yes, if I have to come pick you up, bitch, it's costing a bit too much. <laughs> we got to agree on a I cat. mean, like, because this is, um, yeah, like because rides I've, are now minimum $20. Yeah. In the city. It's like, yeah. So they're definitely trying to charge like 70 to get I've, to. Like I said, I've been getting Maryland. lucky and getting like some $35 joints. Which to is still from, too like, fucking Northeast. much. To my house. No, like, that's still too one, much. But that's because, like, like I'll look at Lyft, right, and it's like seventy dollars to we're get to my house from Monica's new apartment in Northeast. I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, she has a new place. To, oh, yes, she has a new apartment. It's so great. Oh, it's so yeah, it's so great. It's perfect for her. Oh, I love it. And of course, it's pinked the fuck out. And it's just hers. It's just hers. Oh, yeah. I'm so happy for her. Me too. She's like having mixed emotions about it, but I'm happy I know for she her. This is her family her, and her dad. It's a milestone her dad's not here for. And it's okay. not like, oh, as soon as she with the sink, I have to call maintenance. Usually I would just call daddy. Oh, like, yeah. just that type of stuff. And, like, she's having all these moments of adulting and adulthood. Yeah. and He's know. still there with you, baby. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I say that all the time. I don't know if it helps her feel better or not. I think that's true. For her, it's just nothing replaces I mean, the real absolutely. thing and i think that's for anyone missing like a parent Anybody. or a loved one or whatever yes. but i always say i was like he has not gone anywhere trust <laughs> he's not in the physical but he has not gone he's anywhere not. when it comes to his baby girl honey yeah. he has not left you that's that how you found this fucking apartment right trust yeah that girl. protection you feel it, is real exactly yeah. it's she got a concierge honey oh, yeah. her door leads out into a courtyard where nice. she can let the dog roam yes. it's perfect for her I and i that. love it for her so what partner are these um k street mm -hmm. it, she's, she's like over by the restaurant capital yes actually. oh okay yeah, okay, yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Mm -hmm. Um, right by that bridge that people that you drive under to get to North Capitol and all that, essentially. Okay, nice. Um, so yeah, it's a great spot. She's awesome. lived within the same like five and a half mile radius of where we grew up her entire life. <laughs> it has either been K Street Northwest side, yeah. now K Street the Northeast side, yeah. or she's been like Eighth Street Northeast, Fifth Street yeah. Northeast. Like so fucking funny. Hey, it's um, real though. She is a true Washingtonian child. I love it. To, through and through, honey. She to the is. courts. Give it chocolate city to the court. She gang, is. gang. I love that. Um, my God. St. George. That's delicious. It was so tasty, y'all. Mm, mm, I mm, can't mm. even. <sighs> I, I can't just bounced even. around like shit because I don't know what I was talking about that led into Monica's apartment. <laughs> Lift. We were talking Sunday about the prices dinners. and thirty five dollars yes. because we were leaving from her house. It was thirty five. It started with seventy on the Uber was thirty five. We were like, oh, that's not so bad. Okay, so that's what they do though. They up the the minimum of what you expect to pay. So anything over that is like super wild. But then at least if they can get you to pay thirty dollars, it's not seventy. It's not seven exactly. So it's like it's bullshit. It's capitalism as finest. It's Uber trying to be cool. It's bullshit. 
but it it's sucks. like it's so dumb Bro. that's why i'm like look i don't want to take the train in, in new york i'm gonna try to figure out how I, gonna, yeah I'm, I'm gonna have to figure out a budget because we need at least i feel it. like 400 dollars for travel for the two days jesus and that hurts my soul because i would much rather spend that on food and drink you know what i'm saying because i'm thinking like everywhere okay, okay, okay so, so like, we'll we'll to like during the day we, if we have to Train it out. We'll train We're it gonna out. We're going to have to. I'm not doing somewhere at night. 60. I'm not a New Yorker. I don't know how to navigate the New York streets at night like that. No, I need to be in a car. We're definitely car right. So I'll compromise on that. I do the train during the day. So where we're staying is down the street from BCB. We can walk. Okay, and I don't mind walking. Yeah, I'm not opposed to a good walk. If no. we map out our time, it's to literally make it a, the I don't give a fuck. It, li- it should be the street up. I made sure it was not what we did last time. Oh, bitch, my fuck, we was in like East Flatbush or some know. shit. Like it, they I'm said not it was New Brooklyn, Yorker, y'all. It was Brooklyn, <laughs> but it was like East Flatbush, Brooklyn, which <laughs> I didn't know Brooklyn was essentially like. But I say we were so another far. Another New York City we were in terms so of size. Far. I was so upset. I we were so, so far from so everything. Upset. From everything. So never now we'll we're, do we're that not again. doing it again. Mm-mm. Never in life. Never. So no, this time we have <sighs> that is an honorary with it or not. Nah. Yeah. Is Flatbush? No. Nah. <laughs> no. Nah. Oh yeah. I've what, learned my lessons. What so else much. you got up on it for it? So just a little Kickstarter question. Just one. And it just it was actually a question that I came up with just from listening to all these different things I've been listening to. Um and watching this video on YouTube. But what is your biggest fear in life? Just period. And when I say that, I mean, like, the thing that potentially, like, that common thing that will most likely steer you away from something you want. Like, that thing that will, even though you know you want it, it's a desire, but there's something that still keeps you from fully pursuing it with, like, every fucking thing. <laughs> Sorry, it's for the silence. No, no, no. Uh, this, is a, this is a question that you can just get answered off the bat like that. Um, I know mine. It's a few you, rejection. Yeah, you, really? Yep. That's an underlying. Thing I mean, for me. yes that that is what makes me procrastinate for sure. Mm-hmm. Like you know, for things like. Oh, like we gotta do this for CCB. We gotta do this for my life. I gotta do this for so far, whatever. And it's like I gotta reach out to somebody and get a yes or no. That fear of like this could be a no does stop me from even doing the initial reach out. Mm-hmm. But I want to say like a a level of success that brings on a shit ton of responsibility. Like I think sometimes I'm afraid to take on. I'm afraid the path that I'm going down is taking on a lot of people mm-hmm. where it's like, do I want to take on a lot of people? It was, do you think that's kind wanna... of already like a pattern in your life anyway? I know, but that's what I'm saying. I was going to say, because you I'm are always doing this. You're a nucleus to a lot of different I'm groups doing of people. This, and I'm always like, Capri, don't you just want to like, I don't know, be, dis- like, you could do so many things and no one will ever know. Like, I'm just like, I don't know, but. You think a part of that is like it ties into your sense of purpose? Because a lot of like you do Possibly. a lot of like like advocacy work for sure. Yeah. It's going to attract people. It's people work. It's community work. Like so many you're in a community sad. of uh, professionally that's very social. Yeah. It's very true. like personally engaging. Yeah. But it's not really you can't fully be a hermit and then be successful behind the bar. So this is the thing is like right well that too, right? And I just think like I'm been thinking about what's the best way to be that person and still feel as though I'm just kind of like not taking on so many people, right? Mm-hmm. Like I think, yeah, that my, well, that's where practicing boundaries, just yeah. knowing your boundaries with people. Yeah, I think that my biggest fear is that when you take on so many people, there's such a huge opportunity to fail all of these people. Mm-hmm. So I think there it is because I was like, how do I say this? Mm-hmm. My biggest fear is constantly failing others Mm -hmm. you know like if i said i was going to do this i never want to be like i can't do this because it didn't work out i always am like how do i figure out a way how do i find a way how does this make this how do i how am i going to make this happen i gotta make it happen because Mm -hmm. i'd rather make it happen be like oh god i did it 
and yeah. then be did like, not do it and be like i know you've been waiting for this or i know that you know like mom or dad or sister or you know ccb or anybody like allegory like anyone like, i know that like i said i was going to make this happen and mm-hmm. i can't that constantly drives me like insane all the time because yeah. it's like it's the uncertainty of like i mean i knew like this is definitely a possibility what i said it can be done can definitely be done but like Everything's not leading to it. Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> well, you are, gotta listen to this book. My, you gotta. Things aren't mm-hmm. making sense. Like, ooh, like. Because you saying something about uncertainty just made me think about you know uh, like, what they something that they referenced in the book of like just not. I mean the the crux of it was you can't like successful people don't bank on certainty. Right. Like they. You have to be willing to take risks, right? And, and this sometimes is that, that I'm risk learning. is like, yeah, like, and the, that saying of like failing forward, I am very resistant to that phrase, but I understand Ew. that it's, it's a thing. Failing forward is a thing. Shit, bitch. I do definitely be falling into some shit that be like, ha, okay, well, pff, did it. Yeah. <laughs> and at the end of it, it's like, but did you die? <laughs> did it. But failing others always, because it, it makes me want to just be like, you know, bitch. Your word. You said you were gonna do this. You said you're gonna do that. Like, how are we not doing it? But I got I've gotten better at being like, I didn't do this, you know, this hasn't happened yet. Like, I'm sorry, but I'm not here yet, I'm not at this pace yet, I'm not in this mental state yet. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, wherever it is, just being honest, because what that feeling does to myself is there's no level of grace. There's no area mm-hmm. for grace for myself because I'm just scrutinizing myself about mm-hmm. like bitch <laughs> i do that too you fucked up <laughs> you know you're trying not to fuck up but you're fucking up and it's just like now i'm like you fucked up like yeah you're I'm, I'm young, still you're learning how to stuff, do that you have like every time so i mean honestly instagram things that i'm following on instagram have been helping the most where it's like you can you it's okay like it didn't work out, but guess what? You can still keep going. Like, this shit is not going to end here. It really is not going to end where I'm like, are you sure? Like, I'm yeah, going to fall into pieces. Like, like if, if, if this if this fails, like, my whole life will crumble into pieces. And then recently I've been like, if, if some of this stuff fails, like, you know, like, I still, I still I do have this. It? I still have this. Yeah, I still yeah. have this going. I'm finally this. getting in better about that type of self-talk. Cause I like if if I fuck up on something, or make a mistake or something, or like missed something like somewhere or whatever, it eats away. Yeah. <laughs> like I am that person that like I'm constantly retracing what I could have, would have, should have done for that to not bruh. happen, and like, yeah. bruh, that shit drives me nuts. I'm finally at the point now so where it's insane. like I have to take a breath. Let I gotta give myself at least like an hour to feel all the things that I'm feeling and then I have to shut that shit off. Put it in a little box and let it float down a river somewhere in my brain. <laughs> because I have to focus on, well, now that it's already happened, what do I do now? Exactly. And I have to get to that quicker. Right. Because exactly. otherwise I could waste an entire work day, an entire fucking payday of multiple people's pay and we didn't get the productivity out of it that we needed to because I'm sitting there in my feelings yeah. about a mistake that's happened. I may not have even made the mistake, but because I'm the person that answers for it, I'm beating myself up about what I missed and how I didn't micromanage enough or how I didn't. So, child, I'm finally at the point where it's like, well, damn, Cloud. Okay, because I'm like looking at the, I'm like, so damn, I hope, like, we got, I mean, thank God we got lights, but yeah, I hope shit. we still look great. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, y'all who are just listening. The, the clouds just cast it over. I'm like, oh, like, the shade. Like, Literally. Giving gloom and doom, no. honey. <laughs> but yes, so yeah. I'm getting better at getting out of that faster and give allowing myself grace in not being able to do everything perfect, especially since no one taught me how to do this shit. I have to constantly remind myself that all the nobody time. Is that it's like hand holding me, teaching me with no type of God. I, I have to talk, shit. I have to think about that shit all the time. Like I take my cues on how to be an effective boss and man, manager of the things. From, like, just cues of people that I've observed in that position and how they run their business or whatever and take the pieces that work, like, take the meat and spit out the bones type of thing. Yeah. And the rest I just got to learn on the motherfucking fly. 
It's just it's, like you know. And, I got, apparently, I've been failing the fuck and, forward. And, and I was gonna say, in that case, okay, failing forward, got it. White yeah. people do that shit all the damn time, all the fucking time. But they also have the luxury of doing that all the they time. They don't get repercussions. And There's shit like usually that, some sort or of net scrutiny. For them. That, yeah, absolutely. Whether the net is just flat out privilege. Yeah. Whether the net is um, having money already, like having parents who have set you up well. Mm-hmm. Whether it's already having access to assets because they've set you up well in that way, even if it's not like capital, like liquid money, like. It's just that net of something that's able, you're able to bounce back or be caught, um, you know, after that mistake or after that fuck up or whatever. Like, you can fall on your face and get back up. Right. And it's not as hard of a fall. So my, my biggest feeling of failing others was when I dropped out of college. Mm. And I said, this is going to be my decision. I'm not going to go back home. Yeah, my biggest fit, my biggest like, it's still to this day was to have to go back home. Is like homeless. This, I'm sorry, like I'm gonna do whatever it takes. Yeah, because that for me, if I become homeless, I have failed my parents. I have failed people around me. I have failed, you know, being this leader that I am. Like, if I can't like keep it together, that's why it was so hard to ask for money when I needed it. When I did the GoFundMe, because I was just like. You know, be looking like you know, you like to look like you got it together. You know, you still everybody want to likes things. to look like they got it you together, want to do stuff. but and so like that 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 vulnerability <laughs> of showing people that you don't have it together, I think, is one of the greatest things that I'm learning to do mm-hmm. because I'm just kind of like I think, and I think people confirmed that for you that yeah, like, like it's okay. Yeah, we see you and we see what you do. We see what you bring. Right, like. Nobody wants to see you have to go to fuck home, bitch. You right. got a lot to do in D.C., baby girl. Like, so I, I think that was a great confirmation of that. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Um, yeah. Sometimes maybe God has to put you in a position to have to need something. I know. To, to remind you that it's okay to need something. Yeah. And to ask for it. Yeah, I was talking to my dad the other day. He was like... Um, he, he always tells me this story, and he was just like, my baby always been independent. I'm so proud of you. When you first start going to middle school, you have to walk, wake up. He was like, you would set your own alarm, wake yourself up in the dark. I was that girl, she too. She was like, he was like, you, was wouldn't, girl too. you wouldn't wake us up. You would get dressed, get ready, and I would know that you were up. He was and like, I would walk you out the door, and you were like, it's okay, daddy. I can walk to the bus stop by myself. <laughs> he was like, and they let you? No, he said. Okay, he said, I was about to say. He would, hell he no. would say, okay, and but he would like, keep out a, the a close back distance door and watch me kind of go down, anyways. Yeah. yeah but he was sure. always like, you always, always want to do things all by yourself all the time. I said, China has not changed. Okay. <laughs> Period. That shit is a lot sometimes, though. Like, it has not changed. But yeah, it is. But I just, I don't know. It's just like, I don't know. I don't know why that's instilled in me. Yeah. You know, I've always been independent like that too. Like I wanted to do my own laundry. I was the girl. I'm definitely the person that set my own alarm. I'd get up before the sun came up. Right. I was getting on the bus to get to school by 745 in the morning yeah. to do my homework at school because I just knew I wasn't doing it in the afternoon. But I was like, well, I'm going to get this shit done. Right. <laughs> like, and so I was putting that on myself to do. Yeah. Um, but I was consistent like that. I like routine, very Leo. Mm-hmm. I like routine. So routines have always worked for me. And so I've always, I've liked those things that I can keep within my control like that. But I've been like that since a kid too. Yeah. But that don't mean I always want to have to be. You know? <laughs> but like, I still kind of wanted my... Like, I still wanted people to want to help me with stuff. Like, you still got to want to, like, like I say that I kind of wish I had, like, not a helicopter, not a helicopter parent, but, like, that parent that, like, just cares a lot about, like, their kid and what's going on in their kids' lives and, like, into, like, what they're doing and, like, their hobbies and their sports and their things. Like, just genuinely cared about that shit. And just, like, wanted to be a part of it in some type of way. Mm-hmm. And that just wasn't the case. I mean, my grandma's like that with all my activities and stuff. Like, she's very much, like, throwing on the jersey and, like, right. yelling up and down the field and that type of yeah. thing. But, like, 
My mother was never into anything that I was yeah. like doing in school, whatever. I tried sports once. I did softball. I hated it. But even I'm like, my mom's, my mom did not come out the car for the games. <laughs> yeah, like my mother would be in her car or around her car or whatever, like on the phone, like not talking to the other little lacrosse yeah, mom. No, she was not talking to the white bitches at all. <laughs> even a little bit. Because it was like, there were a couple points in my lacrosse career in high school. There was like me and at most like three, four other black girls. Oh, okay. One of them is likely mixed and yeah. also plays like field hockey. So she gets, she understands all the white girls and yeah, stuff already. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> She ain't hang out with the other black parents. A couple that sprinkled it like nothing, child. Nothing. <laughs> Lord. So I, I still wish I had that aspect of it. Because I feel like then maybe I wouldn't need, like, verbal affirmation and confirmation as much. Mm. When even I know that I've done something well or done something at a high level or whatever. Still not as excited about it as when other people big me up about it. Mm, mm. So, like, I can do something that is major because it was a goal or it wasn't even a goal, but still made it, managed to be, like, a big thing. And I don't get really as excited about it as I, I don't know, as, I, as people I think expect me to be about stuff. Mm. Like, I'm already just kind of focused on the next thing, the next thing that, seems more successful or more worthy of being celebrated, I think. Oh, okay. Um, but so when does yeah. that become a cycle? I mean, it's the cycle I'm in. You know? It's the cycle I'm in it. already. For me, I'm like, oh, we did this. Let's chill out. We did that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, now we got to try to work and get this. Oh, we did this. Let's chill out. We did that. <laughs> I already did that. I did that. It's fine. Let's give it a year. <laughs> I did that big thing. We're... Psh- Done. <laughs> Fine. I'm confident trying time. to figure. But I think also you get celebrated a lot too, though, which is great. Yeah, that's why I'm like, oh, yeah, we're good. You get celebrated out of here. a lot. We're kind. Of, we're fine. So yeah. <laughs> but I'm trying to figure out, I'm not figure out what that thing is, but I think I'm just a lot of me constantly feeling like I need to improve, get better, do this, do mm-hmm, that, mm-hmm. is because I haven't had that moment yet. Oh, I feel you. Okay. I feel yeah. You. So. I'll well, see the universe tell me what it is, I guess. I'm no, gonna just keep yeah. doing what I do, honey. But I think people see you though. Like I definitely think you're you're very People very do seen because in they'll the say industry. something to me in person, but they're so quiet about it otherwise. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like I have to I have to just happen to catch a motherfucker in person to, to even know. Yeah. People are so. watching the fuck out of your deep. Like shit. That's very weird yeah. that no one says anything. They don't they're like in my face. I had this person come into the bar the other day and was like, Yeah, you're like you know, you like do like you just started Chocolate Cities something, right? I said, I yeah, founded Chocolate Cities Best in twenty eighteen. Yeah, thank you. Chocolate yeah. Cities, oh, you know, uh-huh. you. that's awesome. And like, it's just time to talk to me. I was like, yeah, people be reading about me. It's really weird. Yeah, they that's really weird. Yeah, it's 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 cool. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. You know, I'm happy about it always. I'm always just like, wow, that is really cool. But also like. That stuff doesn't excite me. I'm not excited by press. I mean, mm-hmm. I'm I'm happy about it. I'm like, this is awesome. But I'm like, I just think that, you know, I don't like the, like the, the, there is different treatment with that type of shit. There's different. Mm. Oh, in what way? This is a good topic. Just okay. like, you know, one, if I don't fuck with you, you still think you can fuck with me. Stop doing that shit. Mm. Like just because we just because are people are same. writing about you when you're in like yeah. the same like or you know article me. as someone else. You or... know me. We don't even talk. I don't know you. You know Cheers, or like mind. for me, it's like I have a team. I like to put people on and stuff like that. Like if you're reaching out to me, you reach out to people around me too. So like, what's up? Why are we? You know. You know singling me out like i don't like to be singled out in that way mm-hmm. i do a lot of work to make sure that people around me are you know people like to establish a face of something so and you found it like Chuck Chuck best, so you're gonna be the face of Chuck's best all the time i mean yeah but i just like we do everything <laughs> like if we're showing up somewhere we we're definitely show up as a unit there. all the time that's so, so true we definitely show up as a unit and every time i talk about it i bring both of y'all up every time so i just like you're not paying it like I, for me. I just think you're not really paying attention. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like I just think that that fame shit is just like you're not paying attention to what the person is actually fucking doing. You know, yeah. and, and, you're paying and attention to what people are saying about what part of doing. it. Yeah. So yeah. I just I don't know. I just feel like it's like it's cool. It's cool. Don't get me wrong. 
Like, don't start writing up about me. Like, <laughs> I love articles yeah, coming. Keep, that's cool. Keep but like, at the same time, I think I just rather like, I rather be in the background. You know, I really rather be like a moving part rather than just like a face of it all. I guess being I'm a okay face also that. puts the pressure on on you yeah, more girl, than anybody yeah, right, else too. Right, for sure. Back to the biggest fear. Failure, yeah. everyone. Because like, if anything goes left, it has Shock City's Best on it. It's immediately like, founder, Capri Robinson of Shock City's Best. Like, Ain't shit, no! <laughs> Phil, the, the hospitality community. Again, no, that, that will never be an article, ever. But <laughs> but I get that. I mean, like, right, we're not that messy in the no. industry. That's Hell hilarious, no. though. We're not messy people, period. So yeah. we just don't even maneuver like, like that. that. But still, it's just like, you know, I don't know. Yeah. I just, you know, it's great. Don't get me wrong. I think that, like, you know, for me, it's just, like, the fake people come to fake when when you're a face of something. Yeah. And I'm just, like, I hate that shit. <laughs> That's part of the game, though. Oh! You're going to attract people. You're casting a wider net every the time game. anyway. So you're bringing in the fake with the real. It's just your own discernment that lets you know who to toss back in the ocean and who to keep. Mm, That's real. Like shit. That's real as fuck. You gotta know how to talk about that. Yeah, be quick I, with it. Toss it back. Red flag. Toss it back. After this, Ooh, I, love a good, I love a good off air. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do my Don't third sip, sweet honey. Oh, I'm not. Okay, Ooh, okay. I'm excited about this because it's Westward. Okay. okay. <laughs> hey, Miles. I know. First off, just saw a video of him. Crank it on the drums, <laughs> on the pallet, on the forklift, going uh, around the warehouse. Oh, I can't believe just it. Just emanating all the waves like, into the barrels, y'all. I wish I had his number. I want to face It's great. I, I hope that video is still up. I should try to screen record that. If uh, not, I can ask Bridget for it. Yeah, Bridget took it. Um, so, y'all yeah, ask for it in the WhatsApp. I want to put that on the YouTube. It was great. That motherfucker was, was great. <laughs> With his hair and shit. Do it all that all that good all that good white boy rocker shit. Love it. Shout out to you, Miles. So, um, this third sip, y'all, is the 2022 single cast number two. This one is out right now. Um, Westward whiskey, Oregon single malt, finished in Chardonnay cast. You can smell the Westward. You can absolutely smell the Westward. It's you know slightly mm. floral, very chocolate, very rich. A little a little hint of smokiness. A little, little bit. small hint of smokiness. A little, a little bit, bit of, of maple. Coffee. A little bit of coffee. Maple maple coffee bean. Mm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But there's then there's so like a cool waft of white grape. It's just is. a waft. You gotta you gotta hit it like a little bit above. No, the, it is. And I'm not I'm gonna say this. Waft. Give me Welch's white. It's giving, it's giving waft of Welch's White. <laughs> and I actually like Welch's White. I love Welch's White Grape. I don't like the other one, but I like the Welch's The purple white. one, right? Mm-hmm. I don't really fuck with that one. No, me neither. I feel like mm. I drank so much of it as children. Yeah, it's giving Westward and Welch's. <laughs> Here we go. In a great way, though. In a really good way. Oh, Welch, Westward and Welch's. Hold on. We should be naming your barrels, Miles. We need to be naming the barrels, honey. Bruh. What? Between it's giving Westford yams, and it's giving yams, and Westford and Welch's are two great. That names. is a great fucking name. That needs mm. to be a cocktail name. I can't wait till the it's giving yams barrel come out. Ah! The Chocolate City's best winners edition Westward single barrel finished in the stout cask, honey. <laughs> I mean, on period. <laughs> and this real limited edition, baby. Very, very, very. Y'all not ready. Y'all not ready. <laughs> They're not ready. They're not ready. I'm so excited. Such a I great also barrel. want to like retaste it sober. <laughs> like shit. Like shit. Like, I wish I took an extra sample for myself. I only kept the sample that Blake. I had for Blake, what and I sent say? it to him already. I don't even think he's opened it yet. Blake. You know how many samples he gets sent in life? I don't care. I had to pour <laughs> the I had to pour the Cavatica stout from here because he didn't open the other one yet. Because I poured him like oh half the bottle. Oh my god, the Cavatica. Girl, yes. Bitch. It's sitting in my office, honey. Oh my god, that sounds good. Waiting for an espresso martini to be made. Oh, man. I gotta bring that home. That mm, sounds this so good. This just smells so fucking good. I know. But anyway. You could definitely get that. That grape, grape is there. I was about to say, it's still in the nose. Like, it's popping out more now. It's like grape and coffee beans on the palate. Like... Mm. 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 Mm-hmm. Whoa. Mm. Oh, yum. The finish is peppery. Peppery. 
waxy. Mm. It's viscous. It's sitting in my throat weird, like right here. Not weird, it, but like... Like in the glands right here. Yeah, something's holding. Right up in it. What's that, Miles? What's that? <laughs> yeah, what what that is? is? What that is? We need to sit on these I'm going to sit. <laughs> in fact, let me talking to you. You'll know we saying a damn yeah, thing to you right now. Because uh, yeah. you don't even be watching. But it's, no, okay. Don't. it's okay. You'll catch up. Yeah. You will. <laughs> We're just talking. It's so funny. You should have us playing while you're in the warehouse sometimes. Yeah, fuck it. Just let us let our our the waves, the sound waves of our voices waft <laughs> oh, over your barrels. Wafting. <laughs> you can play all the ones where we're talking about Westward. We've talked about you in more than one episode. More right? than one. And just play it on repeat and just Which see what it gives. Me. We see need to have Clint. Clint, we want you on the show. Clint, we gotta have you on the show. Yes. Oh yes. Okay. So yes, reach out to Clint for next week. Yes. Yeah. For, yeah. for sure. And I'm gonna reach out to Sonia. Yes. Drippity drop and Brocky. Brocky oh cool yes. Brocky cool and I also think his girlfriend could be a good separate one. We could have them on together, or we could have them on separate. Um, but that one would have to be an episode where I feel like we need to be like in a different venue. Absolutely. If we do like four of us. Oh, absolutely. There's no four yeah. of us in here. Absolutely not. I really want to create like a recording nook at the warehouse. I really do, because I want it to be like we're surrounded by all these great spirits. But I also then want like throw rugs and <laughs> tables to be made out of barrels and you know like some. We just need to find things, a space. Feminine things. Find a studio. Yeah, manifesting a studio. I'm just throwing all my manifestations throughout every episode, just tossing them out there as they come to me. Manifesting sponsors, manifesting a studio, manifesting. You definitely get that More butter nice. from like the Chardonnay butter. I get more of the butter on the, with the water, I get more of the butter on the nose too. Yeah, like, you know, that's awesome. And then the wow, oak. Yes. Ooh. Definitely and I don't like buttery and Chardonnay by itself. I like it in the context of like meshing with this whiskey. It is messing with it really well. This is a very nice one. Yeah, that's and awesome. And apparently Miles like picked this for them or nice. this was the barrel. He, I don't know if he, he offered it to them or it was like, here's the one you should take or what, but. It sounds like they just out here like contracting with motherfuckers. That's what it's giving. You put your name on it. That's what it's giving. You make it, sure. I give you money, and I put my name on it, and then make money. And make more money. <laughs> it's the circle of life. And circle. then they sell it to us wholesale, and then we make money. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> like shit. So this one, I think, is, I think we still have some bottles that's available at Sealbox, if nice. I'm not mistaken. So. Mm. Mm. By the time y'all mm. listen to this episode, we'll have, you know, the Sealbox link is always there. Always so. You already know, Slim. <laughs> that was a good Kickstarter Taste question. Taste that. I like oh, that. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I like that. Absolutely. So, our next segment, y'all, is what's tea? What's well, we're talking about shit that's going on just period. Whether it's mm-hmm. on social media, whether it's in the news, it's just something that is happening. And it's seen either a lot of it or we've seen it online somewhere. And it's just very significant to either one of us or both of us. Right. Um. And so one of the things I was looking at was this YouTube video. So, you know, have you ever had, I don't know how often you're on YouTube, but once you, um, once your algorithm kind of learns you or whatever, it's going to recommend shit to you. And so me listening to these like books and shit like that, this one, um, YouTube video popped up. I'm not going to actually like play it, but I'll have you watch it after we're done though. Okay. Um, are you about to make it pop up or no? Cause I want to get the name of it right. Mm-hmm. There we go. You will never be poor again. Start doing this today. So they try to reel you in, right? But it's like right. a little eight minute joint. So I was like, okay, fine. You got me. <laughs> so I, <laughs> I clicked on it. But it talked about like stuff that we already know, right? Like people who are at least conscious of like what is the major difference between people who are wealthy and people who are poor to middle class. And the major thing is of course mentality, but like what we're taught in schools. And if you like, if you don't come from a household where at home you're getting that supplemental education on like, like your parents have to be teaching you or someone in your family, your village yeah. has to be teaching you about financial literacy, yeah. has to be teaching you about at one point it would have been how to balance a checkbook. At this point it's, I don't know, I you're learning about crypto yeah. and like learning how to like read the stock market or like just shit like that because we're leaning a lot more towards like digital currency now. Because we barely deal with cash as much unless you're in a cash-based business yeah. or you get tips or whatever. Yeah. Um, but even bars like Serenata don't take cash. Yeah. So 
if you are giving them cash, it's probably tip. It's not like, so the world is just leaning towards that. I mean, the U.S., I'm sure, has billions in cryptocurrency at this point that they're just preparing for whenever our dollar fully drops out and is no longer worth anything. But, yeah, that's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot to pay attention to out here. So... This video was getting into that, getting into like how the school system fails us all the fucking time because they don't actually teach you about how to be successful in the world that you really exist in. Yeah, no, it's not They're that. teaching you how to succeed in this fictional world. They're preparing you essentially to be middle class, to work, save your money, invest in a 401k yep. and, and put money away in a savings account and do this. And that's how you're going to get rich, but, but it's really not. Um, and how really, how the wealthy stay wealthy is not by working and spending their hours clocking into someone's clock. It's knowing how to minimize their expenses to the utmost, which our largest expense as a people is taxes. Bitch. There's a reason that billionaires don't pay any fucking taxes and they get away with it legally. Bitch. When I say every time I look at my motherfucking check, they're taking close to a thou for me. I was going to say, I probably pay a year. 15 to 20,000 in taxes. Yeah. And I get maybe 2,000 of that back. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make like, any sense. Like, collectively, me and Ra got like 4,000 back. I heard these but, are low. Somebody else was telling me there's a low as fuck, too. Like, bruh. Mm -mm. This shit is obscene. Mm -mm. So, it talked about that. And yeah. that was like, I'm glad I clicked on it because. You know these things in the back of your mind. Like, you yeah. just kind of go through the motion of life knowing that, like, they bust my ass in taxes. <laughs> yes. Like, shit. But you also go through it knowing that, like, my taxes right now are getting hit hard because I filed a W-2. Mm -hmm. So now I'm, like, just thinking about shit of, like, how to restructure the way I get paid so that I get paid as a business entity, not as, a per like, as mm -hmm. an employee, right? Mm -hmm. So... I'm working up that conversation with Blake. Not that it's something to work up for, but I have to right. be very clear on what my ask is and what, how I, exactly how to do that. Yeah. Which requires me to talk to people who get it, like business attorneys or accountants or whatever. Right. Like, right. And in any other context, I would actually probably go to Blake to get the answer on that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but because he's the person I'm coming to with it, I it's just too you want to know intertwined. Yeah, I yeah. got to be able to. I got to be able to sit at that table knowing what the fuck I'm talking about. Exactly. And that, um, how to because that puts me in a position to not even necessarily be able to make as much because he, not in a way of trying to get me, but just naturally as you a can. businessman, like he's not going to present with like, this is the best way you can do it. What benefits me the most right. versus Sealbox the yeah, most, most in a way, right? Absolutely. Because he's still majority owner. Absolutely. So I have to be able to come to the table knowing what the fuck I'm talking right. about. So that it's just it's such a wheel of like yeah. these type of conversations, like thoughts in my head, but like even just saying it out loud right now just makes me think so much about the fact that like, unless that's just in my friend circle, that's got to put that in the budget. Like I got to be able to pay somebody clearly for their time, for their knowledge, for what they know, because I would expect somebody to pay me for what I know. So now I got to factor in how much is it to, I don't even know if it's necessarily putting a retainer down, but to be able to pay a business attorney for their time and that advice and for that lunch or whatever, where I can ask questions and, you know, um, I, I mean, there's know. legal zoom and shit like that, but it's like, also just really like being able to speak to a person and like being able to build relationships with those, those types of people. Yeah. Um, so, you know, further build my arsenal too. And it, it can become a mutual thing. Like mm -hmm. I'm a wealth of knowledge and skill, my motherfucking self. So I can have something to offer as well. But Absolutely. Um, just stuff like that. I'm just like, my God, why do I not know any accountants and attorneys yet? I what, don't What either. is going on with my I circle? I have like three friends. Like three, four <laughs> friends. I have more than that. But in terms of... <laughs> They are not. They are not attorneys. Or they're not attorneys or lawyers. They're like they're valuable in what they do and what mm. they bring to my life. But it's like I gotta diversify a little bit. <laughs> like That's we're like, all I like need in similar. Like, those also. Yeah, like I'm just so it had me thinking about all that. Like look well, at I that video. I guess I do have some lawyer people, but I don't, they're not business lawyers though. They might be able to give a referral to one. <clears throat> I'll ask. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I'm like, I don't either. I'm like, actually, yeah, definitely have people that got to law school and passed the bar. <laughs> yeah, they might, you know, still know. <laughs> Sorry, some. I love you, Julia. <laughs> but I was also thinking about reaching out to Clyde by asking about that, too. Um, he definitely has some lawyer friends. Oh, yeah, he definitely and does. Uh, you know what I've been thinking about kind of wanting to do? And I'm not going to say it on air. Yeah. Because um, it's an idea yes. for a dinner, but like, yes, I'm not going to say it on air, though, because... 
I think it'd actually be doable. <laughs> and I think it could be good and fun and resourceful. Yes. So, yes. But, so yes, this video, I'm going to send it to you. Well, you have it now on the outline. But that um, video just had me thinking about, like, we're approaching this shit the wrong way. We need to be working smarter, not fucking harder. But, like, mm. in all aspects. Like, especially in the major ones, like, how we make our money or what we, what our money gets allocated to. Mm-hmm. Like, if I could just simply make what I make now as a business versus as an employee of the company, I would save so much in taxes. Yeah, taxes are ridiculous. Like, they are so any insane. money that I spend that has anything to do with what I contribute for that money for that business, I can write that shit off. Mm-hmm. Like, what the fuck? I mean, I write shit off now. Don't get me wrong. Because yeah. there's shit I do throughout the year that I get paid for. And yeah. stuff I money I spent towards it but it could be done on such a bigger level yeah absolutely just little tweaks like that Mm -hmm. affecting how much I put out but also then being able to focus on making more but you know paying less out on it Mm -hmm. it's like just one of those like foundational things that we should be being taught but then it's like the government can't milk us for all we're fucking worth if everyone knows that if they teach that in school who are they going to play for a fucking fool? <laughs> Period. I think that, um, I don't know if it was the creator of the educational system or something mm-hmm. like that pretty much said that they, the point of school was to create workers. Mm-hmm. That's what they teach you to do. Yeah, it wasn't Read, write, and arithmetic. Yeah. It wasn't That's to it. do anything else but to make sure that you can work for the rest of your life. Yep. That's it. And then it evolved into making sure that you go into higher education and pay that However many, depth, so however many tens of thousands of, or hundreds of thousands of dollars, <laughs> just depending on how far you go into mm-hmm. education, uh, making sure you go pay that. We want you to have that debt so that you're even more inclined to take that job that keeps you in right. the wheel right? because you now have to pay off that education that you just yeah, got. No. And you're going to be paying that essentially the rest of your life. And that's how we keep you in the cycle of being a worker bee. Period. Boo. They got me fucked up. Got me fucked up. I'm not going through my life like this, and I'm not doing this to my kids. I'm not doing it. I'm I'm not fucking doing it. I got quite a few people I can ask. Yes. (laughs) So that's why I like talking things out loud. (laughs) Oh my god. I'm like, love it. There are some people that have recently been like very adamant of Capri. I want to, you know, I want you to make more money. I want to do it with you. How? And these people are like, I'm like, wow, these people just came out. And so that brings me to my dinner idea. Okay, great. Okay, fab. So we'll talk about that off air. Wonderful. Yeah. (laughs) We want to do it. Love talking shit to you, y'all. But this video is great. I'm going to actually share the link to it. Oh, make more money. Manifestations. (laughs) (laughs) That was great. Manifestations. Yes. (laughs) Good vibrations. (laughs) In case y'all were clear where that came from. Just wanted to throw that out there. (laughs) Yes. <laughs> just in case in case shit. Gen Z is listening to us at some point <laughs> oh god yeah, that was so great amazing. okay so that video had just started my wheel spinning my yes. wheels are spinning right now Spin. I am determined to spin 2022 becoming a more evolved version of myself yes, in a lot because of ways. I'm committed to that at this point 2023 um, I feel like first off I'm not sure how much I love 2023 as as a number right yeah like, like Film three weird. boys down to seven, so it could be some spiritual but aspects there. Still. I'm turning thirty, so fuck it. Yes, you're turning thirty. Three and seven are great. Rolled so. off the time like 1993. You know what I'm saying? Or 2003. <laughs> you know, 2003. You know, it's 2023. <laughs> that ain't the worst. That ain't the worst. <laughs> I feel like 2026 is not doesn't sound great. Yeah, I was about to say 2027 doesn't sound great either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they don't. They don't. So, okay. Maybe 2023 is okay. But it boils down to seven, so I like it. I like the odds of that being a good year. I think if we're as committed, if we stay committed to being evolved motherfuckers fuck. in 2022, it'll pay off in 2023. It's going to pay off regardless. It, it is, but... But we're still going to be working. Exactly. But we're... That's good. We're always learning. <laughs> I'm telling you. Y'all, Never we are getting evolving. there. We are getting there That's in this the thing called life, point. bitch. <laughs> Okay, now this next West Tea is a little sad. So let's do our fourth sip. Okay, fourth sip. <laughs> I feel like this is a good one to, to mm. guide us through because it's a tequila finish. So oh. our fourth sip, y'all. Oh, still in single malts, 
But this is their 2022 single cask number 11. Love the number. But from Balcones Distilling. So they're in Texas. They're distilled and aged in Waco, Texas. And we are at a whopping 64.4 ABV. So that is what, 128.8? Sour cheeses? Is it Waco? I know you're in Texas. Where you at, cheese? Where you at? I don't know, but I'm so excited to see him. So this one is a Texas single malt Whoa. finished in tequila barrels. I get bubble gum. Definitely pink bubble gum. It's giving bubble yum. But I think that's from the agave. Like you can smell like a repo tequila here. Like I don't know if that's the type of tequila it was in, but it mm. it kind of gives that rep that the oak and agave smell. Mm. Let's see if they say anything about that particular aspect here let me see there's some kind of there's definitely a lot of caramel on those aged and tequila. they don't even say if it's like well it's got to be at least a representative of oranier whole barrel for yes tequila, tequila barrel you're right but, actually right <laughs> so they just don't specify which one so we don't know how long oh wait it says you've never tried a single malt like this one aged for five years okay in a used tequila cask that previously held rumble a spirit distilled from honey sugar and figs huh this style bending whiskey has well, don't tell me what it has in terms of notes i don't want you to tell me i hate that yeah i don't read that type of stuff out loud y'all because we get our own notes over here homie <laughs> <laughs> i think that also like stuff like that also is the what's pushing you're pushing what people should taste yeah instead of letting them have their own taste. experience i mean honestly we do that at seal box but i get it because people want to know. But we're tasting in real time. Right. And I guess maybe they are too. But I don't know. Because we are a company selling other people's brands. So right. it's not like the Sealbox brand telling you what Sealbox tastes like. Right. right. We are a third party entity tasting and experiencing what we're selling to you and giving you some information on it so that you can make an educated decision. Right. I guess that's kind of what they're doing too. I just take it with a grain of salt when it's coming from the distillery. Right. I'm not going to, just yeah. because I'm not I want to experience it outside. Cause you're not going to tell me bubble yum. Nope. But that's exactly what I'm getting. Yeah. And so that's what it is. Like I'm the type, I'm going to tell you if it's giving bubble yum, if it's giving yams Ooh. in my descriptors, Blake may tweak it sometimes oh just to make it make more sense because I will say all the shit I'm <laughs> experiencing. I'll say jalapeno skins. Okay. And I'll say like all that. This is giving bread pudding for me also. I mm, love yes, bread Yes, actually. And not, as, not like one of them super sweet ones either. No. Mm -hmm. Like a well-balanced bread pudding. Mm, maybe with a little, a little nutmeg, a little cinnamon. A little bit of raisin. A little raisin. Maybe that's the fig. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. It's giving concentrated pruny type of fruit. Yeah, definitely. A little wrinkly jout. No! No! That's so funny. Oh, oh wow. I can't see the color of this one. Okay, yeah. It looks this is like giving through. pale amber. Like, because like gold is amber, right? Or which is gold? This gold. is gold. That's not gold. gold. Flat out gold. Yeah. Period. <laughs> I love gold. <laughs> Gold member is such a great classic. Oh my god. Hmm. That agave barrel influence is there. Yeah. It's also a little peat. I think that's the Texas influence. Because single malts out of Texas are very smoky, from my yeah. experience. Hmm. I haven't tried all of them, I'm sure, but I think I need water. Yeah. I definitely. Need water open me up this Plus. is not as like flavors aren't coming to me as fast as it was with everything else yeah mm, that's good seven's a good number i like seven yeah. i like odd numbers for my drops for some reason huh like i like five sevens nines elevens Five, sevens, nines, eleven. <laughs> and the funny, the erotic <laughs> thing about that is I hate odd numbers. I don't really? hate them, but I'm more, I lean towards even numbers. Okay. Just in general. More chocolate came out with the water. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm. More fruit came out on the palate. Like, I'm getting concentrated mm -hmm. like lemon and orange peel. For sure. Yeah, smoke is there still. But it became more of an undercurrent. Like, the smoke comes out more as the whiskey kind of evaporates into that oh. waxiness. It is a lot on my palate. It is a lot. It's, it's a little hefty on the palate. Like, 
Hmm. I need to get it down to a different proof point, I think. Definitely more chocolate. It's giving chocolate graham cracker. Do you remember those? Ooh, like those oh, the chocolate, uh, chocolate honey bears. Yes, there we go. Honey bears. That's mm-hmm. the name of the brand. Yes. Is that honey bears? That's what I was picturing in my head when you um said chocolate graham crackers. Yeah. Yes. Give it. It, it tastes mm-hmm. like that and it mm-hmm. smells like that. And those were kind of chalky too. Yeah. Like, Damn, I haven't had honey. Do they still make honey bears? They probably do. We've just kind of aged out of that snack group. Bruh. <laughs> Like, so I, there's a things. lot of like snacks I loved as a kid that I just don't touch anymore. I mean, you will when you have children. I have evolved into. I'm not giving my kids that shit. They should have gave me that shit. Maybe oh. it's called Grand Bears, Grana Bears, Granimals. Was it Granimals? Honey bear crackers. Potato- teddy bear, teddy cookies? bear cookies. That's what it was. Why did I thought? No, it's Teddy Grams. Teddy, teddy Grams. Grams. There we go. Teddy Grams. Teddy Grams. Teddy Shout Grams. out to Teddy Grams. Because Teddy Grahams had a chocolate Teddy Graham. That's what mm-hmm. it is. And it still had that little cinnamon that was from the original. Yes. Mm. Wow. This is... Damn. Yeah. It's smoky. Excited. It's citrusy. A little hint of like honey. A little sweet. A little, yes, little, little bit. That's my favorite. That's awesome. That is interesting. Yeah, it is. I feel like with it the water, gives me that, that oh no, I still smell the agave. Waxy-ish nature that I that I would still get from an agave. Yeah, like certain ones. Ooh, with the more water I put in it, it's now opening up for me a little bit pineapple and also grassiness on the really? nose. On the nose. Mm. With the more water that I put in, and this is giving pineapple juice. Ooh, yeah, that grass is coming out. Like, or very very wow. overripe pineapple. Mm. The flesh for sure. Nothing about the skin of it. Yeah. These are, this is a great lineup. These are mm. all very different. And all these are single malts, y'all. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, I'm on the palate. I'm getting chocolate teddy grams. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. Mm. See, you're not going <laughs> to give us that on the label. Show them. That would your make screen. me buy it. Nope. What? Oh. Mm-mm. You. Ch- you guys have to see. Oh! <laughs> How do you get back to it? Not that one, the oh. little one. The, oh. the little it's like one. Like my titties? No, you. <laughs> you was a baby. Oh my love, my oh, front screen y'all. joint. Oh, oh, he has a wee one. <laughs> yes, I love this. This is one of my favorite like kid pictures. So uh, look at the barrettes. Uh, Why? Yeah, I was gonna say it's the it everything. was the barrettes for me. They hurt. I loved it. That was when I just remember they feeling hurt. really great about my hair that day. I was ready. <laughs> I was ready for picture day. I just don't like we move and we jump and we run and you decided to put really big barrettes that hit me in the eye. Yeah, they only did that because I'm definitely that kid with the torn stockings by the end of the day and all that. I'm definitely that girl. Um, the barrettes are probably gone. Yeah, because like day. I'm fucking doing this. Like, yeah, I'm definitely swinging and jumping. Rubber and bands, rubber bands, and doing all the things. But it was great for picture day. Barrettes are so. Funny. My mother made sure I got the pictures. Do they still make barrettes? Yeah, that's crazy. They still the beauty supply. Barrettes are funny as fuck. I try not to frequent any beauty supplies because I don't appreciate the profiling and treating black people bad when black people make all of your income. Profiling is definitely what happens in that whole thing. But they have I great. Don't appreciate it. They have great lip gloss if, you, if you're in for that sticky <laughs> lip gloss. I haven't yeah, had some of this in a while. I have not put on no sticky like roller lip gloss in, in a, a long, long time. time. I like a long, ass long time. time. I can't even tell you the last time I had one, but I tell you I love that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, okay. I would use that motherfucker till <laughs> okay. the till there was nothing, nothing left. left, nothing. Absolutely. Nothing and I used to get the drinks that taste good. Oh God, mm, me too. Me so too. they got you know how much shit we probably shouldn't have been ingesting. <laughs> why should you be? Why should we be eating that shit? <laughs> like licking it for it, like. <laughs> Really tastes good, but it tastes Roll good. Roll that bitch over real quick, <laughs> child. I think at that point, then I evolved into like Rub. those um, Rub, smackers, chapsticks, or whatever oh. that came in twenty thousand flavors. <laughs> I evolved into those when I kind of edged away from lip glosses. Yo, then I but went you into had matte to lipstick. Go to the beauty salon to beauties. I mean, beauty, beauty um, supply to get those lip glosses. Yeah, they were so specific. Mm-hmm. That is so funny. They be having a monopoly on a lot of shit. Apparently, they have a monopoly on certain like lace fronts and shit. Like they'll contract like the company will contract the beauty supplies out, and mm. they'll be the sole supplier like in store Whoa. for like so like. That's, that's how a lot of like black owned beauty supplies are like not able to get certain products that they would be able to if it was just the market was open to do that. 
but these more like Asian owned, Asian run beauty supplies are kind of monopolizing access to certain quality things. Bitch, what? To edge out black, yeah, to edge out uh, black store owners for sure. Oh my gosh, for sure. What? Shit is wild. Oh yeah. Oh no. That's so unless you're going to that black owned spot for a particular product, you're probably not walking into that store because you're used to you're trained to go to the one where you know has exactly what you're looking for in a particular brand. Damn. So if you're brand loyal, you're going to be loyal to that particular store right. that sells that brand. Right. Uh uh-uh. uh. And then you don't you be, people barely branch out to other stuff unless they're just unless they train themselves to be that way. You got to intentionally do it. That's real. So that's crazy. Child, they coming for our black kings, y'all. Uh, <laughs> Particularly, they coming for my B-Day twin, Young Thug, and I don't like Young it. Young Thug! We are both August 9th, 1991, and I don't appreciate yeah. them doing this like, to us. Okay, Period. y'all. So, there's a Rico case happening right now with um, All YSL. your favorite rappers are in it. <laughs> <laughs> All your favorite rappers gonna. Uh, Young Thug, Lil Baby. What? Um, I think they got what I don't I don't listen to Pooh Shay, but apparently Pooh Shay's in jail for something else too. Lil Baby's in this shit. Um Y Fan Lucy been bought some shit in jail, but I think right. it's a little separate from this Rico thing. Yeah, I think it's separate. But um it's just like It's twenty six motherfuckers they're trying to get. The motherfuckers who monopolize the fucking trap rap segment of hip hop right now. All in fucking jail. All fighting a Rico case. Like House, way Shit. That means that the fucking federalities have been lurking in the, I don't want to say shadows, but have been lurking in the shadows, plotting and scheming, and trying to build these cases through their lyrics and stuff I would for like quite play, some time. I would like to play today's- I think it's what, like 10 years? Backyard, I mean, parking lot pimping. Oh. Okay. It's a, a minute long. You know they was watching that man for 10 years? I'm talking since bands to make her dance. Since bees in the trap. Since gold all of my chain, gold all of my ring. And then that's how we know law enforcement isn't even about preventing crime, but just catching it. Because they had every opportunity to arrest somebody, but waited to hem them boys up on all the charges they could. And two, our crime is just not deemed sexy or refined. And I think you're on to something, sister. Because, yeah, at the end of the day, criminal acts are criminal acts. But we're not going to sit up here and act like whiteness and or economic power and influence don't dictate the demographics of arrest, sentencing, and prison population. Because loudness is cat. Okay. It's a Rico act was meant to end an organized group of three or more individuals engaged in dishonest and fraudulent business dealing as it pertains to income, the acquisition or operation of enterprises, or even conspiracy to commit such, then Trump need to be locked up, the Ku Klux Klan need to be locked up, and these neo-Nazi organizations. But due to many black crime units, lack of generational wealth, and racism, even limited sources within crime have deduced their efforts to mere gang violence to the public eye. Today on Parking Lot Pimpin'. Ciao. Shout out to Parking Lot Pimpin'. That's what I think Instagram. Yep. Uh, is it called Parking Lot Pimpin? Uh, that's what What's the name does, of her Instagram? Though. Her Instagram is uh, underscore Lenezy. Got L-Y-N-E-E-Z-Y. it. L Y N E E Z Y. Got she, it. Okay. If you ever see it, she's done. She's made like this whole thing. I'm definitely about to follow her because yeah. I've seen her videos before, but I've, I've never. Oh, uh, yes. Parking Lot Pimpin is it. I think it happens every Friday. I yeah. think a new one comes out every Friday, maybe. Um, very cute. She's also now point like started posting like the person that she's dating. I'm really into it. Aww. But um, oh damn, that's what I wanted to talk about. That's what it was. What we'll talk about after this. But okay, okay. She said everything that I wanted to say, basically, and she said it very well, very and well, very well, it. and within a minute, which was great, right? Um, mm-hmm. I just think that what constantly saddens me about our state of this country is that these laws are clearly not for. A certain type of folk. You know what I'm saying? It's not to prevent crime. It is it is to to demonize and vilify blackness. And you can and and you under all these words that we put into this law, you fall into it because ha ha ha. It's all these words. So think about the Rico at let me pull up what I screenshotted because I thought for me this was the most annoying thing about the Rico Act. Rico was designed to get at this idea that you don't have to get your hands bloody to be convicted of the criminal activity. You go back to somebody like the Godfather. You don't need to be the person who's actually pulling the trigger. You don't need to be the person who's actually on the street corner selling drugs. You don't need to be anywhere close to criminal activity. But if you're operating and managing an enterprise that you know, you know, there's 
know and they is don't engaged. have to fully prove whether or not they can't they don't have to prove without a doubt yes that knew. The, you, the is engaged in uh, criminal conduct. So pretty much it's all about generality, right? The prosecutor is all, all the prosecutor is going to do, which also what I hate about our fucking system this is, is that, that you have to, all you have to do is prove to a jury and, and that's, that's what it. it is. Yeah, that's what that's I was going to say. It's not about whether they can prove beyond a, beyond a doubt that you knew. They just have to convince a jury that you knew. They just have to convince a fucking that's jury. That's it. So... That's all they're doing. That's all prosecutors are going to be doing this whole case. And I think this like, came to be because they were having such a hard time nailing mob bosses because they were staying so far away from the actual hand to hand like crime. They could very reasonably say they didn't know that someone who worked for them was doing such a crime because they're at this level and they have people who employ people who employ people who employ people. <sighs> so you can't say that I knew that such and such was a criminal. I'm over here counting my coins being a businessman. I run businesses. I own businesses. I don't operate them all. Right. I pay these people to operate right. them all. That means they hire the people. Those people who commit those crimes. I don't know what you're talking about. So Rico is their way of being able to get to you, whether you physically, tangibly, provably <laughs> did anything or not. Right. If you employed these motherfuckers and they answer to you in any capacity, then you're a part of it. And you're the, you're the mastermind. You're the head honcho. Right. And I just think that, you know. <sighs> and a lot of times they were, but they can't prove it. Oh, it's all I'm it's saying. Just, this is what I'm saying. Like, I just think this is like, a dumbass okay. fucking act. I think this whole thing is dumb as fuck. I think you get the people who did it, prove it. That's it. Why are we, I think, honestly. Why are we doing all the extra? Because the fucking, because. <sighs> people human ha humans have egos and there's oh a lot gosh. of motherfuckers in like the fbi and the dea and cia and all that like with huge egos that feel really pissed off that you're out here making millions <sighs> of dollars doing what you want while they're out here trying to quote unquote stop crime and getting paid like a fraction of what you make by <laughs> child it's a lot it's i a guess this wheel. happened in 2021 because i could have swore this was illegal that rap lyrics are now allowed as court evidence to be used as it Cause I'm pretty sure it was illegal. Long ass like trick so daddy. So now you gotta make sure you like fit that. allegedly, or so I heard, or if I were, if I did, like you gotta, you gotta be conscious in your lyrics now to not say uh, I did it with something or something. It's like who over. we smoke, dumbass song. It's Dude, all over dumbass the place. Song. Cause then. Because they can literally now have proof of you singing at the top of your lungs to da -da 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 -da, that you've killed such and such so and so and this that and the third that's all been in the news. So it's looking like it's different by state. Now that I'm looking through this, it, some states can use. Uh, so it's not a federal lyrics. thing. It's not a federal thing. Ooh, some yeah. states can use lyrics and some states are not. So they're using it in, it in Georgia. I guess so, because mm. that's what they're trying to do. That's so we 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 the article that we have, of course, that you have a link to is from Vice. Um, and in this article, they they speak about what's going on with this Rico. Um, at case we got that but it also is going into and speaking to a lawyer um who has done a lot of these things and he, they're asking him questions on like why are they going for this why aren't they just going for a single you know mm -hmm. um actual criminal acts against the people that actually did Committed these things crimes. you know and like what's the benefits what's not and i didn't finish reading it because i started getting so upset because i'm just like <laughs> the, the double standards constantly in our fucking world mm -hmm. against us you know that and it's just like when i go that, that down that rabbit hole i just can't even think so i just had to stop reading it so i didn't finish it mm -hmm. um but yeah they're in they're under in fulton fulton county jail i think fulton, fulton county. county yeah i'm just like this it's is just, bullshit y'all it's bullshit it really bothers not me thug. not my young thug. It, it, you know like like i said like i played her her um instagram Video. because it literally is everything it, it sums it up it sums what i want to say it sums it up so well you know and it's like just, i love black women y'all look honey, i love us she does a lot of that really well like she, yeah if you aren't following and her I love your brown bandana and yeah aesthetically it was giving it was, just, it was a lot it was <laughs> if great. you don't follow her definitely do because she does and you know honestly I get her content, but who knows if she's being shadow banned too? Like she got like what five and eight. K, yeah. So the thing about it is, yeah, but she's only getting like twenty thousand views. Or see, 000 that's 000. because they're only exposing yeah, her to a fraction of her yeah, fucking no, followers. The engagement is ridiculous. What is with that? Come on, it's Instagram, like, talk to us. What's going on? Now it's like I want to go back and watch that movie, The Social Network. It, uh. And there was like it wasn't by accident that the the. The air of the movie and like the music they chose, the the, the cinematography they chose, it was mm -hmm. very like dark, very kind of mm -hmm. like 
like a kind of like a, a dark prophetic type of like by the um, end of it like talking about the illuminati not even the illuminati just i mean like you know how the, ever watch those videos where they're talking about the illuminati it's all like the music yes, is like and that, energy, that energy that music that very these like these are monsters yes and it was very much that but around like <sighs> kind of like, I guess the inten- not the intention of Facebook, but like how quickly the intention got lost in the name of greed. Oh, absolutely. Right? Like that was very clear in the way it was shot and the way it was edited just by the choice of like that, that more muted kind of dark, like cold, gloomy, cloudy type of like, and obviously they were in what was that Boston? Was that Massachusetts, Harvard? I don't know. Well, I don't know. Um, well, that's what that was, not it? in my purview. Um, Facebook? Well, I was going to say, you know, Facebook owns Instagram. Right. These oh, you're talking about changes where he and shit that? have started happening. Like Harvard or some shit. Yeah, Harvard. I think yeah. that's Boston, right? That's Massachusetts. Hartford? Harvard. Not Hartford, girl. That's one of them that's online universities. Oh. <laughs> right? I don't know. Harvard's in. Child, tell me what Harvard is. I don't know. I ain't <laughs> never been. It's cold as fuck. I think it's, it's up north. It's up north. Um, but it's where all the white people the live. way the whole packaging of it was very dark and very like gloom gloom and doom essentially <laughs> so i'm about to go back and rewatch it because Ugh. it's like it gave that feeling of maybe in a way was a kind of a bit of a pros- prophecy of like this is gonna spiral the fuck out of control and yeah, it's gonna right. be all about greed and nothing else and that shows in the way these algorithms are being utilized. Not in the fact that the algorithm exists, but just in how it's being used to manipulate who sees what, when, how, where, how much. I mean, the algorithm like, will also, it, but it's also it is a also being to get you to pay used, ad money. It's also being used as cyber warfare at the same time. That's what, yes, ex- yeah. exactly. That's mm-hmm. the part that like makes it very dark and mm-hmm. like, this sucks. Like this is supposed to be a social platform. Why does it have to be weaponized? in that way and it sucks that everything control is controlled masses. by someone with an agenda and and people in charge of shit changes all the time ownership changes all the time like now elon musk owns twitter facebook acquired instagram it didn't start being under the umbrella of this whole meta shit and now everything mark, is mark, about mark. paying for virtual space you whether that's in advertising, whether that's in virtual land, virtual fucking real estate, whether that's in fucking virtual fucking artwork like digital like uh, they've just uh, I don't ever want to be in these rooms I don't think I want to be a I think if I'm in these rooms that I've would, already sold some part of myself or or <laughs> or I'm that assassin I've been talking about mm, yes got to <laughs> knock him out <laughs> everybody's gone cracking necks that's that anime coming through me I just walking <laughs> in like whoosh, whoosh. Walk out. Massacre. Wiping the blood off the face. Like, <laughs> had to, they had to go. It's giving kill Bill. But like so many have to go. It's not even like you can't even do anything. Like even if you caught the There's head. So, because so uh, such a segmented few controls such a wide variety of the things. I'm just like if the world needs to end the restart, let's just fucking get it done. I mean, I know there's a lot that I need to do, but I'm okay. I want to, like, maybe I need to be that radioactive roach that survives. Because I'm just scared of what we're. I want to be on the other side of that. I'm the reset. Just like, like am I, are we gonna make? Like, are we gonna make it? Like, the if they know prices- did the snap with all of the fucking infinity stones, I want to be the percentage that stays. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be the percentage that evaporates into dust. I'm just like, can I get to the the universe where humans have evolved past where we are right now? Have evolved past ego. It's not going to work <laughs> until enough people have evolved past ego. I I, and like, or I, at least are able to have a a balanced symbiotic relationship with their ego and uh, aren't ruled and moved yes. and instructed by that ego. I'm in you the, have to I'm know it exists I'm to know wrong, that it's instructing you. I'm in the wrong phase of life. <laughs> I just like because like when I think sometimes. about like when I really think about the people that are really in power and the things that they get access to and the amount of and the mentality oof, of those people though and the, the lack of humanity that comes with it the lack of humanity among a lot of those people ah. I won't say all but I will say a lot of yeah because you get when you have access to literally the world at your fingertips nothing. Nothing feels real. It's so easy for you to stay disconnected from the real world. Because nothing feels real. It's like, this shit doesn't matter. I can do whatever the fuck I want. But that's what feels real for them. 
Ugh, ugh. When you've grown, when you've been that way for long enough, even if you started from zero fucking dollars, it's if like, you've lived that life enough, and you you're not one of those people hurt. who like make it a point to stay connected or grounded in some way, you have to be grounded as a person spiritually. Oh, yeah, and like there's so if many you don't already that have that, you're just you're out there like it does I mean, not you literally have convinced there. yourself that you're here because so because the rest of these people who are quote unquote poor just don't work hard enough Oof. you've really convinced yourself that <sighs> you're not aware of the part you play into this fucking matrix oh my god i just don't even want to think about it it's a lot and it's just like i just feel like there's just death surrounding those people i hate that i'm sorry i have to what gets me through allows me to sleep at night is i have to just trust that it doesn't matter how much money you make it doesn't matter how wealthy you are it doesn't matter how big of a toy you can buy there is an entity that is larger than us all okay that holds all the keys pulls all the strings sure does. and balances all scales yes, and Lord. so for me if you have this perceived life of living just great you have everything at your beck and call you can snap and what you want comes to you like that and da 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 mm -hmm. there is something in that if you're not a if you're not that person that gives back if you're not if you're not a good soul there is something in that where you're going to pay for it does not matter what it looks like. I have no when, control over what how, that looks yeah. like. Like if Jeff Bezos happens to be a trash human, I have no control to, over how he pays for out. being a trash human. Right? He has a fucking cruise ship unto himself and that's just his personal yacht that he can just take wherever the fuck he wants to. If he's not a good person and none of that shit crazy baffling wealth gets paid back into the world in some other way, in some bigger way that serves something bigger than himself, He's going to pay for that somehow. <laughs> He's going to pay for that somehow. Mm. There's just no way he won't. There's no way. And I also have to be okay with, maybe that won't be in this life that he pays for. Maybe he comes back next right. year in, in his next life as a fucking tick. I don't know. <laughs> like, who the fuck knows? Not a tick. Like, something people. completely insignificant and minuscule. <laughs> but a succubus, nonetheless. <laughs> right? <laughs> but you're a succubus that is going to be washed out by That's like tough. dog shampoo yeah. or something or you're just gonna get squashed That's by it. a finger it like it's just something out. like that is yeah. in store for you yeah and i can't control what it looks like i have to trust that there is balance at the end of the day and that as long as i control bringing the best version of myself to this world then i will reap the benefits of that whatever that looks like that's real because yeah, other than that me. i can't control none of it I know. And it's, I will literally work myself into a long nap trying to wrap my brain around That's it. That's exactly what was happening just now. I don't know if yeah. anybody saw me going through it. Yeah. <laughs> literally. Because my brain was just At this like, point, it's like. <sighs> That's why I say things. It's like, wipe us, wipe us all out. Wipe us all out. Don't wipe me out, Lord. Listen to, don't listen to Capri <laughs> on my behalf, okay? Let's start over. The views shared by Capri are not a reflection <laughs> <laughs> not a reflection of today's, today's desires to stay on earth because I want to see the rest of it. I want to see it. That's why I want to live to 122. I want to see it. Mm. I don't want to see it like my soul hovering over and hanging around. <laughs> I want to see it with my own eyes and flesh. Child. I don't care if that flesh is falling to my knees. <laughs> I just want to be here for it. My great, 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 great greats will take care of me. Period. Yeah, that's real. Girl, you sipping the fifth one? What oh, was this? Yes, but I yes. Am. Oh my god. We're sad about the Rico case. We want I am praying that all of your collective millions will get you the best afford you the best uh protection possible. Yeah. I pray that the the quote unquote evidence that they have is trash. I pray that your stardom and your celebrity works in your favor and not against you all. Well, but saying this, there's probably going to be but the that's if you're good people. the 26. That's if you're good people. It's if you are committing crimes, I don't know what to say. It, I mean, but there's, I mean, even if they do, I think. Like that, tangible I think crimes. That, I mean, tangible, your hands are on the trigger. I think thing. that Young, yeah, no, I think Young Thug's going to be able to get out of it. I didn't know Lil Baby was so. in it. I think Lil Baby, I think the top three the, hope, like, like, names that we have, I think they're going to be able to get out of it. They're probably going to have some time, but I think. There's probably going to be some sacrifice in oh, their artists. Oh, yeah. There's definitely going to be some, someone's got to take the fucking fall mm -hmm. for sure. And it's going to be more than one. It's gonna some be people are going to have to take deals few. for less time for the sake of preserving 
others who are able to make sure you at least have the best possible stint. Um, the people who have the least to lose in comparison are probably going to wind up taking the fall. Oh, absolutely. Or taking the the, made, the biggest hit. Which which sucks. Ugh, that's the way of life. Because I kind of like, go, kinda like I don't want the little guy to fall, but I also want my young thug to be okay. Right. Right. It's like, <laughs> I'm dang, sorry. That's the way that shit goes. It sucks. I'm sorry. Sucks. Duality. <laughs> mm-hmm. Duality. Period. We're not we're imperfect people. <laughs> so with that, with our that, final sip. And we're finishing out with you all. This was a good episode, but it's probably a long one. Yes. But I'm actually glad this was some good this was some good talk. Yes. This was some good talk. Right. I am really enjoying these like Kickstarter oh, questions. That's our average. It's about average for us. So our final sip is a so this is a blend now so this is lost lanterns american vetted malt edition number one can't wait till edition number two comes out what's tea um stuff's probably still in barrels at this point or they're probably in the blending phase maybe um this is theirs this is lost lanterns vetted malt but they sourced okay. single malts from let me see one two three four five six distilleries so okay. this is a blend of american single malts from balconis mm-hmm. Oof. Distillery, Copperworks Distillery, Santa Fe Spirits, Triple Eight oh, Distillery, which I thought was very random, um, Virginia Distillery Company, and Westward Whiskey. Oh, so, Virginia, nice. Yeah, I love them. No, if you, Ooh, I love them. You, you said the, you said, wait, go back to the bed and mall. Oh, so we've got Balcones, which mm-hmm. we tried their right. um, tequila finish, Copperworks, Santa Fe Spirits. Santa Fe Spirits. Yes, Triple Eight. Uh, I forget what state they're in. Um, Virginia Distillery Company and Westward Whiskey. Nice. Nice. And so it is a blend of the six of these. That we are sitting at a hundred and four. No, one hundred and five proof. Okay, fifty-two point five ABV. Ooh, I mean, uh, to keep it general, it smells like a single malt, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> right? Like it's just, so. Like, so there, when we're when you're. For those who are less well versed in single malts across the category, it like barbecue you're gonna sauce. get s- yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're gonna get some sweet, yeah. whether that's fig or, or plum or like honey. Um, you're gonna get some like smokiness, whether that's roasted coffee bean, whether that's campfire smoke, whether that you know. Um, I don't know how you make a barbecue sauce, but this smells like barbecue sauce. Like it does, and it's. Like, sure whatever is uh, in barbecue sauce to make it smoky has got to be like smoky like seasonings right so that for sure so a like little a bit paprika, of the tang maybe like a too, uh, whatever makes yes, it tangy tang. yeah like I don't know how else to tell yeah, you about this that is a very you know what <laughs> There's no need to try to deduce that down. You know what bar- a good barbecue sauce what smells like? Your fav- uh, what your favorite barbecue sauce is. Oh, um, probably. Unless your favorite Unless. barbecue sauce is out of like a very specific place like Texas or something like that where it's yeah. heavy smoke. No. It's like light smoke with tang, with spice. Maybe Sweet Baby Ray's. Maybe Sweet Baby Ray's. <sighs> but a better version. Yeah, a yeah. A less sweet version of Sweet Baby less Ray's. Less sweet for sure. So maybe like Balanced Baby Ray's. <sighs> Who, what's like a good general barbecue? I don't know, but it's it's sorry. It's giving all y'all it's need to know is this is giving tang. barbecue sauce in a great way. Yeah, in a good way. I would absolutely like spike my barbecue sauce with this and then brush it over Ooh. some chicken on the grill. Damn, bitch, I'm gonna do that. That's oh. not good. Oh, bitch, I'm gonna do that. I got a grill, <laughs> bitch. I'm just acting like I ain't got no grill. No, no, grill like bro. I don't be out here chefing in these. You streets. got a whole grill, bro. This is gonna be one of my Sunday dinners. I'm yes. gonna grill. You can smell yes. that whole dinner. Yes, you can smell bitch. that. Like, slather this over some chicken. Mm. Bitch. Oh, I'm it's sorry. a wrap. I'm going to get past chicken that. Thighs. That's it. Wow. That's all I was giving. I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you. Ooh. Ooh, yum. Mm. Get a little pea. Yeah. Bit, a little bit. A little honey. A little maple, like smoky maple. That's what I think I'm getting. Smoky maple. Mm. Mm. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine drops. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Ooh, I got more dark chocolate with that water. On the palette also. Oh, yeah. For show for show. It's definitely rolling. Wow. I personally think they might have blended too many. I think so because you can't quite 
pull from any particular one. Right. Like I know because Westward like Westward's such not a, come, like the florality from Westward. Such not, a distinctive like, you thing. You can for say it dark talk. You can say coffee, but you can say that about any of them. Yeah. So you. I think that's what's hard about lost the opportunity from... to highlight each yeah. part of the blend. Yeah, exactly. By blending so many, so I feel like maybe they brought it down to four. Yeah, I think maybe they three. Definitely. And that that. You could it's play nice. on more of each one's characteristics, let them play off each other. Yeah, for sure. I think even if they, honestly, if they did like an Oregon vet and malt, right? Yeah. There's more than one distillery in Oregon right now doing single malts, and they're different from each other. Westward tastes very different from McCarthy's. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And so maybe highlight the beauty of Oregon single malts, but expressed differently by different distilleries. That could be cool. You're welcome for that tidbit, Lost Lantern. You need to pay me now. <laughs> I, think, I awesome. think that was great. You might have already thought of that, but in case you didn't, you're welcome. Yeah, I think that what's awesome about single malts in general, especially American ones, we're getting that chocolate every time. Every time. And it's a specific chocolate. Every time. That's coming from that malt. So it's from that malting process. It's the yeah. only way we can deduce that because the, the, the barley changes in terms of location, yeah. type, style. You're gonna get chocolate somehow. Absolutely. You're oh. gonna get chocolate somehow, honey somehow, maybe, or maple somehow. Um, yeah. Ooh, this is giving like I just I smell the chocolate, but underneath that, really lightly, I'm smelling like strawberries and sauce, if that makes any sense. And like when stra- when strawberries are like laying in their own syrup, if that makes any sense. Ooh, like if you're like if you're making strawberry syrup and it's sitting in its own sugar. Yeah. Mm. That very concentrated because it's it's yes. strawberry, but it's not like Punching your face like strawberry candy, right? Or like something where they're trying to throw like almost like in your whatever face. the red Hershey's or strawberry milk syrup almost. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. That's a very distinct strawberry. It's a very it's like, distinct. It's like strawberry. pale strawberry. Yeah, it's a very distinct. It's like strawberry, strawberry with a splash of white. Yeah, because that syrup has a weird. Uh, it's not. It doesn't feel. I mean, it tastes like strawberry, but like it. It's not that real mm-hmm. strawberry. Like, if that makes any sense, it's like yeah. literal just sugar in the essence of strawberry. If that makes any sense. Wow. Yeah, this I is can't. a good lineup, y'all. Lost Lantern, y'all did the damn yeah. thing. Distilleries individually, mm-hmm. individually, y'all did the mm-hmm. damn thing. Mm. This is fab. Oh, we've been wrapping y'all up for two hours, honey. But yeah, because now the, I I used to drink a lot of. Strawberry milks. And I used to mix my strawberry and chocolate. Ooh, yeah, um, that sounds good. Syrups together in my milk. That sounds really good. And that's has given that. It just gave that. Ooh, that's really crazy. This is the joy of soul palette, y'all. Wow, it brings back childhood memories. It does. It pulls from flavor combinations you didn't even realize you were still holding on to in your adulthood. Yeah, it's yeah, just great. It's cool shit. This is what's really. I fun know because I'm definitely one person that like I don't really recollect a lot of my childhood like mm-hmm. i feel like a lot of people are like oh i remember doing this, this. and i'm like i have to like be specifically yeah thinking it has something. to be specific occurrences because like yeah, yeah my sister's always like for sure we did this and i'll be like mm, yeah. she's no. also lived a little less life than you so she's a little closer i also to think that she things. be remembering shit wrong because sometimes she say she'd be like i'll be swear to be she's her she's also remembering from her particular vantage point right and what was significant to her in that moment so, who so if it wasn't a significant knows? life occurrence for you you're not gonna hold on to that memory the same way bruh and it's like what was the difference because bitch we try to figure out what do i even remember <laughs> i remember there's a lot of things i remember but they all kind of center around the things that fed into me my like forced independence or mm. like my like forced self-confidence self-belief like it being mm. forced like i have like things that forced me to be everything for myself yeah. that I needed in others. Yeah. I remember a lot of occurrences around that that fed into that mm. theme. Okay, that's when real. When it comes to like my childhood, or st- obviously then stuff like doing sensory stuff like this will bring up stuff like stuff from childhood, like being around grandparents and great grandparents and yeah, stuff like that gets brought up in the smells and yeah. like um, tastes of certain things. Like stuff pops up. It just depends. It, it's all on a circumstantial like basis like what's triggering that memory for real absolutely it's definitely absolutely. stuff that has to be like triggered well thank y'all yes we appreciate it i had a thank great time thank you for joining us today. for this good two hours that was a good combo though yeah i was actually see these questions make you yeah. think make you think i think i have a question for next 
next next episode. Yes, write it down so you don't lose it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, thank you guys for listening. Yes. Please share. I'm gonna go back to the St. George you did too. Yep. Hi, bitch. Yes. Cheers. Oh yes, that sounds great. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, engage. Don't follow that bullshit ass page just because it has two thousand purchased followers. That is not our page. Our page would because not be on private. It doesn't make any sense. Why are we? Wait, why would you make anything on private? That's why I'm like scared it's about fucking what's going on weird. Exactly, it's Secondly, fucking weird. Why? It hasn't been recent. It had to have been recent. It had to be. Had to be. I search. I search so hard all the time. Yeah, exactly. That's crazy. And so all of a sudden, it's just this page. So twenty. Please report that page. Is um, I hate even saying anything about it, but it's got a white logo on it, y'all. Our, our logo is our black. white. Logo. It's our logo and white, and that's not our page. Our page has the, the black logo. logo. Um, it probably. I think they screenshot it from our actual page because I think we've shared the white logo. Oh, I think it's we get just it. it's we not did. our avatar. That's crazy. So. It's not us. It's not us, y'all. We are making that very clear right now. We have one page, and it's all one word, Soul Palette. Yes. So. Pod, Soul Palette Pod. Yeah, Soul Palette Pod. Um, so, yeah. Thank yeah. y'all. We appreciate your support. We're being shadow banned. Help us figure it out. Help us figure it out. If you have any out. insight into that type of shit, please shoot us a DM or whatever. Be? Text if you have our numbers. You know. Love you guys. We're figuring out this shit called life. Love you. Bye. Peace. <laughs>